where Ooh. they left off was standing in front of this giant, and I know on Tailspire it looks like it is red. That's because the option for green does not exist. It is a uh, very, very large green dragon. Huge, one would say. Perhaps even gigantic. It is a big motherfucker. Well, as it roars, yeah, off in the distance, a dwarf and his sister manage to hear this very loud roar and decide, ah, hell, we should probably go check it out. I thought I heard shouting and potentially sounds of battle. Better help whoever it is. As Razmir, or Razmith, and uh, uh, his, <laughs> his sister, oh, you got it, Good. Yay. and his sister, begin to run the three or four hundred feet away from the source of the noise. And that's where we left off. And to start everything out, I need everyone to roll an issue. Okay, question, now that you're done. Um, okay, never mind, <laughs> Seek answered my question. Okay. Yeah, that is um, that is the rule of polygon. For times the first the time in my life, I got a nat twenty for my initiative. Oh boy, right, initiative rolls. Here we go. Oh, shit. So I have a twenty-three. Perfect. Seventeen. Good job. Five. Five dollar. Yeah, five dollars. Five dollar foot long. In right, it. so. For um, yeah, I'll write about it. Yeah. Right now, that's what I'm doing. Oh, that's so nice. Alright. Uh, right. I actually can wanted to go here last. Uh, can you guys still hear and see me okay when I've got the camera like this? Yeah, yeah. I can still see you. Yes. Okay, good. Because I'm really white. I am also opening D&D Beyond on my phone so I can get my stats that I need. The encounter. <laughs> Jumping jelly beans, everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this long initiative roll is brought to you by. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have too much power. <laughs> so just to make sure, we agreed that um, any beast that the person is changed into, they can still recognize friend and foe. Yes. Yes, you can recognize friend and foe, but um, you, at the same time, you are still a beast, so, like, complex thought processes, like, hmm, you know what, I am going to make a, you know, a 360-degree flip and spin around the back in order to distract and give my, my party members advantage. No, you got intelligence three. No, you're not fucking doing <laughs> Wow, that's a, so, that's a white screen. Okay, um, I have an idea. Okay, we shall see how it goes. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. But it's an idea. But I have an idea. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I think I, okay, I'm catching on what you're putting down. Okay. <laughs> I have idea, okay. too. I'm, Zeroth Zer Oblivious here. Uh, well, uh, I'll, uh, okay. I won't steal the thunder. So let's uh, let's kind of go down the the line here. Uh, I'm gonna go with oh, darn, that's not what I wanted. Get over here, thing. Thank you. Okay, so um, we'll go your disease. What was your initiative? Seventeen. Okay, uh, Jacob. Five. Things start going. He's only so much better than you. I have a negative. I have a plus three. I rolled a two. Jacob had a five. No, not three. No, I'm sorry. I have a two. I rolled a three. All right. Come here. Do I get to roll for the dumbasses? Uh, no. Aw. They will be going on your initiative. Cool. Can I at least describe um, what they're, like, kind of looking like when they do their thing? You can, but they're basically, uh, uh, as mentioned before, 
Yeah, uh, no, I, I get that. I just like like uh, a general like description of how they're working. Oh yeah, no problem. Um, Zeroth, what did you get? Uh, Zeroth rolled a sixteen. Oh, okay. you, well, you got sixteen total. The sixteen. Uh, and you were you said you had fifteen or seventeen. 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 Okay. Uh, Rogar. Fifteen. All right, and Diana. 23. 23. Okay. So, hold on. Um, do you second. also need Galar and Rasmus and Galar? Uh, yes, and actually, I will need, I will need Galar and uh, Rasmus, but basically, your Rasmus, you make one roll, and all of that side is going on the, at the same time. Cool, because Rasmus got an 18. <laughs> all right. Okay, so let me just get this part straightened out. And I'd like um, for the, uh, the the dwarves to stop short of the field to not be in the dragon's field of view at first, if that is possible. Yeah. Um, hey, Zara. Yes. Oh, How much fine. do you trust me? That's also an option, huh? Uh, you know... You haven't stolen anything from me, so I hey. trust you pretty well. Hey, I, I wasn't a jab at you. Hmm? Sure it wasn't. Was. Have I stolen something? All right. Can you guys still see me okay? Or is my... Am I out, out of camera in a funny position or anything like that? Oh my god. I, I don't know, actually. You're fine. Yeah, you're oh good. my end. All Goodness. Right. All of you is uh, green. Uh, mm, that sucks. Uh, you're gonna love when uh, the dragon rolls better than everyone else. Uh oh. I have a uh -oh. feeling the dragon will. No, no, no. it didn't. I saw oh, the kitchen of order at the top. Yeah, it's a little awkward. Hey, don't worry. I'm last, so that's good, right? Yeah, I'm what? second to last. We always stay close. Uh, I would I, stay I, near I, your Riddle Season this fight. This. Okay, so the order, myself. the order of this fight then is down to crocodile. Yes, is oh, down shit. to oh, Timber, shit. Maw of the Swamp goes first. Oh, uh oh, guys, That's there's some hidden area. enemies. That's a very as, big area. As he just kind of barrels through and gets to right about here. And if it'll let me set him down. Oh, I see the crocodile now. Uh oh. As he's kind of kind of standing half on a tree with some of his paws. He's within if you went you know under him you could actually reach him. It's just oh. I can't put him into the you know the actual terrain. Fair enough. Crocodile. So but He's right there. Oh, and, hey, there's a guy there now. Yeah. And I will need... Uh, right here. I will need everybody... Where is it? Man, to make a fun. wisdom save. Oh, boy. I thought we already made wisdom saves last week. Oh, that's right. That's right. You did yeah. it last week. And we all made it. Yeah. You did it yeah. Last week. yeah. We have, we and everybody passed. Because That's we have right. crazy because he's people who are helping us. That is correct. With their super whamadai auras of Protection. high DC. <laughs> Orders of a no you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. No thank you. All right. So what happens as he, uh, this dragon, runs up this way basically kind of barreling through the swamp itself. Uh-oh. He gets right about there. Oh, shit. He's not scary, you guys. And I need <laughs> you say everyone that. to make a DC, uh, but to make a con save. Oh, no. Con save. Boy, my strong suit. Is there any bonuses to this? Uh, you get a plus five for me. Yeah, I definitely made from, it. Uh, plus three from Agni. Oh, my God. So, I really so made it. So we get a it. plus three from Agni, a plus five from oh, Rogar, which is a plus eight. Yeah, yeah. so, uh, I have... I'm, I'm good. Okay, so, 
Uh, so I got a 28. Uh, I, I got a 23. I'm very thankful that you guys got all that because I had rolled a 3. Uh-oh. So okay, plus that 8 was 11, plus my 8 is uh, 19. Yay! 27. Wait a second. Do we win? Uh, okay. Do we win D&D? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Almost. Sure. We, might, we might take some half damage. Victory. You know. I definitely will. Uh, the rogue might not. All right. Can I also okay, use done. cutting words to reduce the damage? Barely. Hold on one second, guys. Fuck. I have this really intense battle music in my ears as we're just kind of sitting here. <laughs> yeah, just chilling. <laughs> Do you, do, you, do you guys have a stream up or something? Or do you have no, a- no, I actually, I actually have uh, the music, up music up right now. No, I have Spotify music. Mm-hmm. Going on. Oh yeah, see, I I've just got random <laughs> Spotify. Uh, uh, I have now a playlist called Intense Music in all caps. Nice. <laughs> Love seeing those YouTube videos. Epic music. I, I, I wanted no, I should I should have put the kazoo right version of the Avengers theme in there. <laughs> but Okay. I don't All right, sorry about that. So anyone who got less than an eighteen that was wrong. Oh thank god. Thank God. Yeah, okay. I beat that bitch. Do, you wait, do I get the taking... do I have to save for all the dumbasses as well? Uh you will make one I will allow this for the Party parties that are in quote unquote groups, i.e., Rasmith, his sister, and her small entourage, uh, and the dumbasses. I will al- allow you to make one roll with whoever's got the highest save out of that, like the highest go. bonus. Oh, cool. So that Sweet, Rasmith rolled the twenty. So now I've got to go through Sorry. all my goddamn characters and find out which character has the best con save score. <laughs> Ooh, ooh. Yep. And um, can I use cutting words for the damage? <laughs> All those dice yeah, popping up. <laughs> because oh, cutting so. words specifically says an ability roll, an attack roll, or damage. <laughs> mm. yeah. So long <laughs> as <laughs> the creature is not immune to being yeah. charmed. Mm. <laughs> you want to know what the dumbass has got? Wait. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, he's the wagon. Yeah, no. Yeah, you can you can do that. Sweet. I will use one bardic die and hope to God it's good. Do you want to know what the dumbass has got? What? 33. Sure. Okay. That's it? Yeah, 33. Right, no, because don't they, one of them has a crazy buff, and then there's the plus eight. Yes. Is it a buff? Yeah. And I got a 10, um, so it subtracts 18, 10 from the total so. damage. Okay, so... If you fail to save, you take 48 points of poison damage Holy minus hell. whatever uh, 10. I got, I, I got a 10, 10, so it drops okay, to so 38. 38. Okay. If you fail to save, you take 24, which is half, minus the 10, so you take 14 points oh, of poison cool. damage. We all took 14. So if we passed, we only take 14? 14. 14. I told you. I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of cheating on that a little bit and allowing your cutting words to affect everybody. Technically, it would only affect one person, but I'm just being generous. So. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> uh, I would, would Rasmuth and his group be affected from this? No, no, no. You are too far away. Okay. And I can't uncanny dodge this, can I? Um... Wait, that's don't you have evasion? Uh, I think you can. That's, a, actually, that's yeah. dexterity. Evi- uh, oh, oh, yeah, evasion is for. Yeah, uh, evasion yeah. is for like spells and stuff. Yeah, it's dex okay. spells though. Oh, I thought evasion was for. Any no, but uncanny dodge. Evasion. I think you can use. Yeah, because it's let attack. Let me double check. I thought yeah. it was the saving throw. Hold on. Oh, I'm gonna hellish rebuke him. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I know I don't need a hold for that. <laughs> Just well, like, dude. Take longer when I have to look. Uh, when I have to use 
my phone and all this. Oh, okay. Starting at fifth level, when an attack uh, attacker that you can see hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction to have the up. attack's damage against you. Mm -hmm. So. Yep. There you go. That answers the question. I take any seven attack. points of damage. And yeah, the uh, evasion is for any deck saving throw. Not mm -hmm. specifically a spell. Yeah, I need yep. the dragon to do a DC 17 uh, dexterity saving throw. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Stall their Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Probably have to go to the laptop. Can we just say the dragon fails? <laughs> just say it fails. <laughs> oh my god, the dragon exploded! What happened? So, you did your... You're doing your hellish rebuke? Yeah, level two. Level two? Okay. And yeah. do I get a save for that? Anytime? Yeah, dexterity 17. Alright then. I wish I could have done as much damage as you, but I can't. Not yet. All I know is I'm actually kind of happy I started to wow. DM stuff because I started shit. to research creatures. <laughs> he rolled really, really low, so he actually failed. Ah, damn. Oh, damn. He's up. Oh, I did it, you guys! Yeah, I slayed the dragon! Yay! <laughs> that, that, was, that was gone, the wrong gone in one go. That's, that's called uh, clicking the wrong button. Who knew the dragon uh, only had 25 hit points? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's so tiny Take now! Time. Look at it, it's so tiny! Let's find it. Oh! Where'd it go? Where's the tiny bee? Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> 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 it's not tiny anymore. Got a growth spur. But yeah, uh, 25 fire damage. As I rebuke okay. him in the name of Tenebris. All right. I wish I could zoom out further. Oh no! I complete. Hold on. Oh no. All right. So that oh, was boy. what? That was actually his, the dragon's turn, and I gotta put him back on the initiative. Con so plus eight. He was in front of me. Yep. There we go. All right. So that was actually his turn. Hey, Jacob, it I is, take it away. You don't get a plus five anymore. His, We're his not friends. movement and his action. Yeah. And... Um, so... Yeah, that's that's all he's going to do this turn. So that's a, it that's is a now dinosaur. 30 foot radius is huge. Did Karim go down? Karim's not up. No, oh, Karim's no. right here. No, Karim's right Karim was in the area there. of the attack. Oh, yeah, he is, so he's gone. He only has one hit point. That's <laughs> Poor Bean! God, you guys are gonna be mad at me, and I apologize in advance. Jacob is blind. Again. <laughs> Man, this hasn't happened for a long time. <laughs> Quick question. In the area around us, is there somewhere obvious that Diana could, like, uh, essentially hide within mm. 500 feet? There's lots and lots of trees, so you can attempt to to hide anywhere you want. However, since you are not a rogue, it is an no, 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 no. That's not. That's hide. not. That's not the point. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> because she knows Rim's gone. For a brief moment, Diana is going to grab Jacob's arm. <laughs> And say first, you have two options. I poof us or you use me. Mm. Oh boy. And you uh, need to answer quickly. Uh, 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 uh. Um. Sh uh, shit. Uh. Poof, poof for now. So, holding on. Yeah, holding on to Jacob, mm. Diana's going to. Dimension door. Okay. Ninety feet away, behind okay. some trees. All right. So you guys are now. Yoink! Like way over there. Yeah. Uh, at least we have a cleric. Sorry. <laughs> you it's because he. Yeah, there, there's a reason she's doing it. All right. Because her thought process is he needs a second to be able to register what to do, because he yeah. can't see. It took six seconds, and he's just sitting there. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, okay, that was her action. 
Right. And then, um... Essentially, her bonus action and movement is just going to be talking to Jacob on what he wants to do. Okay. Alright, so that is Because your turn. he's blind and she's terrified. <laughs> so that is your turn. And now... God damn it, there's a crocodile. I forgot about that. So, I, 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 I'm sure there's more than one. Because we should be are, out of range of the dragon now. Crocodiles, which are... <laughs> kind of opportunistic hunters. Bitch. Go after the dragon. <laughs> yeah. Did you ah! see that? Like, ah, there's a like thing over there. Like to pick up, like to pick up the uh, the scraps. Plus, they are they are like tiny dragons without the wings. And <laughs> yeah. They are dinosaurs, cool. so they are pretty smart, actually. <gasps> oh my okay. God. Mr. Crocodile, you need to back Turn us okay, into, isn't enough. Turn us into the crocodile. <laughs> oh! And din with them. Alright, so. Yeah, wait, wait, uh, wait. Only. Let's see. Only yeah. one of them was able to move enough to get to you guys and attack. The, the others had to basically. Use their move and their action to to get close enough, uh, and one of them's still not quite in range. But this one right here. If you're looking for a thirty foot radius, it's very very big. Oh no, I need a ten foot radius. I need a thirty foot radius. Okay. So see this this one right here. If you guys get rid of your bubbles, so you no. can actually see. Them. I can, I can see your bubble. I zoomed in. Yeah, I, saw, I can see okay, your bubble. So this, all right, so this guy right here, he actually gets to attack. And he is going after... Mighty Mo, let's see who you are going after. Rogar if you, or Zara? If you attack one of the dogs. It is going after Zara. Oh, the nightmare is there! And Wait. Is Nightmare and actually, count? the dogs. How many hit points do the dogs have? No. Uh, you, oh no! My God. Don't you hurt your puppies? So I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. Remember what I told you. If you're not using them in combat, they are not targets. Good. Oh, I'm just. I was, I was about to, to be so up. mad at you. I know. I, I was, was just too. Trying to scare you a little bit. Fluffy, no. <laughs> oh, Nightmare would have passed, but still would have went down. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that's how so, Prim went. He passed the save. He also just has one hit point. <laughs> yeah. Poor so penis. that that crocodile uh, missed horribly. So yeah, so that's all for their turn because that was the only one that was in range. So it is now Eurydice's turn. So cool. So Eurydice's, she is going to present the holy symbol of Tenebris, you know, the the symbol on her pauldron, her shoulder thing, mm-hmm. and she's going to cast. Uh, do Channel Divinity, Twilight Sanctuary, and in the, as the as an action, you present your holy symbol as a and a sphere of twilight emanates from you. The sphere is centered on you, has a thirty foot radius, and is filled with dim light. The sphere moves with you, and it lasts for one minute or until you're incapacitated or die. Whenever a creature, including you, ends its turn in the sphere, you can grant that creature one of these benefits: uh, uh, a D six plus two hit points. Or um, causing it to get rid of an, a, a charmed, a charmed or frightened effect. Okay. So free heals. So where exactly are you putting that? I'm putting it right on me. Right on top of you. Yeah, because okay. it moves on me. It's centered on me. Yeah. All right. Well, no, it's actually if I remember the spell correctly. No, it's not a spell. It's a channel location. divinity. It's uh, it. Oh, it's a channel divinity. Okay. Okay. Okay, so um, any of my allies, will, any and every of my allies, will be getting 4, D, uh, four, four, four temporary hit points. Alright, there you go. For Jacob, even though we poofed? No, if you're, if you're like too far away, it's only a 30 foot yeah. radius. Yeah, we, yeah. we poofed. Yeah. yeah, you guys went you're 90 feet away. Feet away. <laughs> 
Yeah. Right, Look, so... she panicked. Yeah, no fair. Oh yeah. So and that I can was see your 300 feet with my dark vision now. Nice. So, that was your action, correct? Yes. So you still have your bonus action in the. My bonus action. Um, I. Um, I am gonna use my uh, insightful fighting to see if I can get uh, a read on this dragon. Okay. I wish you would have waited. Why? I was gonna hack some. Okay, then I will wait. Uh, well, I mean, it's a bonus. I don't think. Um, <laughs> I am going to wait. Communication's yeah. okay uh, in combat. Yeah. I'm going to our use our training summit bar. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna slap sanctuary on uh, Brogar. Oh, wow! Sanctuary. Oh. All right. Mmm, that's gonna disappear real quick. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, now. So that's your turn, your Uh Wait, hold on. And uh, now, oh. uh, you still move. That's uh, true. No, I, I'm actually going to put it on myself because I, I realized that okay. yes, Rogar is going to be attacking very quickly. Uh, I'll, okay. I'll, I need a turn and a half. Yeah. Yes. So um, I'm actually going to take a step back because since I didn't have a mini to represent him uh, out on the board, it is right before Eurydice's went. Rasmuth and uh, those with you. It's a, it was actually your turn, so. But you're, you know, two to three hundred feet away, as best you can tell from the, you know, what it sounded like. The, the <laughs> My movement speed is twenty-five. All right. Well, that means you can move fifty <laughs> and around two rounds. If you three. <laughs> move and use your action to dash. Okay. Uh, it does. Does my character have that action to dash? Everyone does. Yeah, yeah, everyone Do does. They? That's a god. That. That's a god-given right, man. Everyone can use an act their action as a basically another round of movement. Okay. Um. Then yeah, um, I'm gonna move the party up to about uh, you know, another fifty feet or so. Okay. You let me know when I get to about a hundred, hundred and fifty. I will do All right. So now it is Zeroth's turn. Ah, Zeroth. Okay. You are confronted by, and there's a lot more people in the area because all the dumbasses are packed around there, and so is Antonio. Okay. Okay. Uh, but there are four pretty darn big crocodiles around you guys, and of course, you know that just little dragon thing. Mm, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, first thing, uh, he's gonna look at this crocodile and freak the fuck out because it's right in front of his face. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna rage. I'm okay. gonna roll my little die here. Don't hurt me. And I roll a six. Uh, until my rage ends, I am surrounded by multicolored protective lights, and I gain a plus one bonus to my AC. And while within ten feet of me, all my allies gain the same bonus. Oh, very nice. Damn, so wow, pretty much everyone who's right there is is getting that bonus as well. Sweet, sweet. All right, um, I'm gonna take a chop at this first fucking crocodile. Okay. Um, Go ahead. Sorry. Shwing. Jesus Christ! Are you telling us you don't have to touch? <laughs> I thought polymorph was a Ooh. touch spell. I just need a. I speed. got a nat twenty on the first swing. Come here, you little <laughs> bastard. Are you attacking the dragon or the crocodile? No, the crocodile. Right Roll in front of my damage. face. Uh, that's a uh, 2d12, correct? Yep. And you don't have brutal critical yet, do you? Um, I think I'm a you level, do. Some level 12. I'm pretty sure you do. Or is he not the right kind of barbarian? No, all you, you do all have a bar, yeah. Yeah, that's, a, yeah, that's, that's right a there. Basic at, thing. At level nine, you get an add an extra d roll. Yep. Okay, so you're actually oh. rolling three d twelve. 
Okay. And then plus your uh, whatever your modifier is. All right. So first rolls an eleven, <laughs> and then a ten, and then a seven. So twenty-eight plus five, thirty-one. Do you plus... also add rage to that? Oh yeah, plus no. plus my rage uh, damage plus uh, plus three, so thirty-four. Did you... Yeah, there. Oh, that, that thing has become just chunks of, you know, dinosaur lizard thing. I mean, you basically fuck yeah chopped his head off and sliced it down the middle and danced on its corpse. This may not be a wise <laughs> idea, but Zeroth's gonna kind of beat his chest and look at that that dragon. That's gonna be you. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Are there I'm any other? Sure you have two two attacks per action, so you have one other attack. Okay. You could go after one of the other crocodiles. Zero, this crocodile next to me, please. Yeah, let's. I'm gonna get that son of a bitch too. <laughs> don't don't fail me now. So have... you're gonna you're going to move over to. Yeah, this I'm gonna one move here. over. I'm gonna move over to him, and I'm gonna attack on that crocodile. Okay. All right. So you can. Oh, Move around a little bit over there. Right. Um, <laughs> 19 plus 9. Not eligible. Not eligible. You can't do math. 28? To hit. 28? Uh, yeah, I think that hits. <laughs> Wait, you rolled a 19? Yeah. Do you have the thingy that does? No, no that's, that's, that's fighter. That's, that's oh. a fighter champion subclass. Yeah. Alright. Go a nine plus five, fourteen plus three, so seventeen damage. All right. And what is your armor class? My armor class is a seventeen currently. All right. So as you run run away from the threatened squares of the other two, they each take bites at you, and both of them hit. Cool. Uh oh. I get to hit. A re- I get to use my bolst- uh my reaction on the table here. You sure can. Uh, just once though, because you only get it. Yeah. So I'll get it one time. The first one bites you for nine piercing damage. Okay, so reduced and I need to. You to and, and I. And you are actually grappled. Ooh, you little bastard. So you are He's actually, about to not be. <laughs> you are actually stuck right where you were because the first one bit you and grabbed you. Hmm. And now you can use your reaction for your your retributive damage that you do. Yeah, that's what I was gonna And do. maybe and, and maybe I'll I'll say that it's enough to allow you to keep moving. Okay. But the other one also bit you. So you're also grappled by him. How dare thee! Where, where is this page? But you only take five piercing damage from that. Okay. On road. Shadowy tendrils lash around you. Each creature of your choice that you can see within 30 feet of you must succeed on a constitution saving throw or take 1d12 necrotic damage. You also gain okay. one d12 temporary hit points. Hmm. All right, roll the d12. Wait, was it each creature? Roll a twelve. Feet? Yeah, within thirty feet. So any yeah. enemy within oh. thirty feet of me, I'm choosing. Yep. So both take... of them, both of them take that damage. That's pretty Two, darn three. good. So I took uh, five plus seven. You took five and nine. Five and nine. Yep, so that's 14. Okay, so Piercing. I'm just going to put seven. Because mm-hmm. I got 12 health, health points back. Yep. But you are you are grappled, and you are also considered restrained by oh, these guys. Dear. Okay. Okay. So, basically what that means now is... Uh, now, here's the thing, is you... You, uh, I should have stopped you before you rolled the attack on the other one, but uh, you're caught by these guys, 
when you still have one attack left, so you can still use it. However, because you are restrained, attack rolls against you have advantage, and attack rolls that you make have disadvantage. And you mm-hmm. also now have disadvantage on deck saves. Shit. So I have one more attack to roll? You you do, So you, but it's going to be at disadvantage. Okay, so... Um... What does that mean again? It's just like it's a minus one? No, it means you roll two d20s and you take the lowest okay. as your, your roll and then okay. add in your modifier. Okay. So, first one was a 19, second one was a 9, plus my modifier, so 18. Yeah, that hits. Okay. And I got a 12 plus 5, so... Alright, which one of these two were you hitting? The, uh... uh I'm, I'm hitting the one that did the, uh, the, the 9 damage. Okay, so the first one that got you. Okay. Yeah. So, he's gone. Awesome. You are, you are still restrained by this other one. Okay. Okay. I'm lean over to look uh, at Roger. Help me! All right. I'm so sorry. And that's that's your turn. It is now Rogar's turn. Um, just throw a spear in its face or something. I'm so sorry. I'm really preoccupied with something else. All right, all right. You're, you're built for this. <laughs> uh, I will look to the dragon and I will uh, first level uh, bonus action. I'm gonna hex a tenebris. Okay. And uh, just the hex spell. Okay, so... And I'm going to choose... Kind of like a hunter's mark. Yeah. If I remember correctly. Yeah. Except for I get... They get disadvantage on an ability checks of the stat that I choose. I just have to think really quick because my brain ain't working. I want to choose... (laughs) Uh, charisma. So any charisma checks he needs to do is done with disadvantage. Okay, now, Christian, does he get any save or anything like that? Nope, you were just hexed. Really? No save, no attack roll, no nothing? Nope. That's the one thing I like about the Same thing with Hunter's Mark. There's no, there's nothing to do. You just get... Yeah, but Hunter's Mark doesn't give you disadvantage on anything. It just, once you get hit, you take a little bit extra. Yeah, oh, so you're also going to take a little bit extra from Hex. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's pretty beefy. Yeah. Gotta love uh, my old warlock ways. Yeah. Yeah, nowhere in there says uh, I have, they have a save. So, yeah, um, I guess I'll take an opportunity to attack because I'm going to have to leave this one crocodile's range. Actually, no. Is, is that one of your uh, channel divinity things? Nope. That's just a and normal spell. Tenebris? Oh, it's just one of your spell spells. Yeah, okay. it's a spell slot, yeah. Actually, before I leave, I will... um, Yeah, I'll go ahead and extend my uh, necrotic shroud as my uh, wings appear. And uh, all my enemies within uh, 10 feet, which is uh, freaking huge on this map for some reason. Because it's a small it's map. Just... Yeah. Yeah. So the, the dragon is in it. They need to do a DC um, 17 charisma saving throw or be frightened. I'm mostly doing it for the crocodiles. Okay. If you can scare the dragon, though, that would be beneficial. Uh, I'm sure the dragon... Scare the right, lizards. So scare the them. dragon fails, and then it chooses... <laughs> Thank not God! To. Okay. Good job, dragon. <laughs> Please. I need a word the adversary. It chooses so, not that- to. Oh, right. Legendary. Okay. I just need this. Does it get new ones each round, or does it have a set amount? Mm -hmm. It's a set amount. Okay. What about the crocodiles? Hold on. I'll get there. I just need to get... You're muted. So scared about this one. I am? No, see, he was talking. Crocodiles have legendary resistance to Oh, God. (laughs) All right, so the crocodiles aren't one, so and so two of these guys, and what's the DC? 
Uh, 17. 17. Yeah. And so... And it's just frightened? Yep. Okay. So when they get to move, they will move away. And then I guess... Since I know that they have disadvantage on attacks, I'll, uh... I keep putting Q because I keep thinking that's how I measure. But yeah, I guess I'll walk up to the door oh, the dragon. Everyone disappears. <laughs> hey guys, where'd you go? Right, so you used your movement to walk up towards the dragon? Yeah. And then that is the end of my turn. Okay. All right. Now, again, I forgot something. I forgot the dumbasses go on Eurydice's turn. So I'm going to allow Eurydice to describe what she in general, wants the dumbasses to do. Well, um... Oh, jeez. Like, I I just want to describe, like, the way that they're moving. Like, not what they're actually doing. Just, like, you can decide what they're doing. But, like... Oh. Like, how they're, like, just working as a team. Okay. Well, um... Immediately, Lee and Cole... Uh, charge right up kind of (laughs) next to you and then in front of you to intercede between the crocodile and you. And begin to and begin to uh, smack at it. Uh, Meanwhile, the rest of the dumbasses seem to be doing something at uh, Orion's direction. He's like, seems to be explaining something to them really quick while digging in his back. And like, it was like two seconds before all this, like maybe half a second, I don't know, timing. (laughs) Um, We just like pointed at like all these different directions and like the dumbasses just knew which way to go and what to do. And Mm. like, he was just flawless in letting people know things to do and where to go and such. And Rogar, on your turn, Antonio goes at the same time, and he ran oh. over to where Zeroth uh, is currently got a crocodile biting on his leg, and takes a couple quick swings at it. Uh, and let's see. And yeah, both of them hit, actually. Nice. Good job, good job. Okay, so... And you are no longer uh, grappled and restrained there, Zeroth. As right on. Antonio, Antonio actually managed to stab that crocodile right through the eye uh, with its, his rape. So... And it went down. So, all right. Right on. Thank you, Antonio. Uh, yes. So that is now Jacob's turn. Oh boy. Uh, <sighs> so he was teleported. Diana. Yeah, Diana will have grabbed him, and after they teleported, would have explained. Okay, I have us at least ninety feet away, so you can. Th- okay. Um. Now, we never described uh, what would happen uh, because we, we have talked about it on Jacob uh, using the ability to see through Diana's eyes. Mm-hmm. Would you say that costs a spell slot? And at, if such, what level? Uh, oh, did we say it costs that- a spell slot? I thought it was just an automatic thing because of the bond. It's not an automatic thing. I mean, it does require an action. Okay. But it does not require a spell slot. Okay. Uh, J- Jacob uh, uh, will quickly um, assess the situation by uh, going into her to her eyesight for a moment. Okay. Um, you have anything that can make things crazy do it uh yeah that's that's kind of my game plan i just need to find him oh okay uh and while he is doing that he is uh just as like a a cautionary thing he's going to 
I I do have one quick question now I'm thinking about it. Can spells stack? Depends in on what the they are. In the sense of you change the shape of one person and you're holding a concentration and then another person makes it bigger. It's possible. Mm, what do you mean by makes it bigger? Like, uh, oh, you're, you're saying enlarge? enlarge? Uh, no. Okay. Hmm. You, can, you can only enlarge a creature... Once you can't like enlarge and then enlarge again. No, no, no. Well, no I no, mean no. like polymorph, polymorph and then enlarge. enlarge. That? Yeah, I think I would allow that. Because I have an really idea. Do I don't know if you're thinking much. the same idea as me. <laughs> Depends on who you're asking. Because <laughs> Jacob, you. Do it. Jacob ha- does cannot do it. You don't have enlarge and reduce. I- he does not have prepared, so no, he can't. Fuck. Okay, never mind. Uh, but as you know, as the two of them are having a conversation, mm! quickly, he the dwarf uh, does though. He I t- had another idea for that though. He uh, places uh, a, a hand, a blind hand, onto her shoulder, she and helps them, but... you know, of course, uh, and cast yeah, no, uh, cast dragon's breath. To turn it to ice, and uh, so now, on any of your actions, if we ever, if there's ever a moment yeah, that we are bonus close, action. Uh, it is a bonus action to cast as an action to use. Um, I thought it was an action to cast and a bonus action to use. No, nope, it's way a around. bonus action to cast. Guarantee you that. Okay, had I known, I've had it backwards this entire time. The only reason that uh, I managed to do some funky shenanigans where I was able to bonus action and then use it immediately is because I gave it to Prim, who has its own turn. No, 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 no. Like, this entire time, I thought it was an action to cast it. Action time, bonus action. Yep. Yep, casting time, one bonus action. Uh... So... As, yep. as he's sitting there... This whole time, I've been fucking stupid. I haven't been using it because... Fuck me. Okay. Uh, so, again, he casts uh, Dragon's Breath at second level on her, and is going, okay, um, so you, uh, if the thing gets close, uh, you have a 15-foot cone of ice, so... I, I know how Dragon's Breath works. I, I, look, <laughs> things are stressful. And focus just... <laughs> on the enemy, don't focus on explaining things to me. That, that, I mean, that ends his turn. He can't do anything else. Yep. All right. For now. It is now the dragon's turn. Oh, no. I'm on And let's you know, see No, I have very, very Ooh. appropriately att- intense music going on. Ooh. Okay, so. Oh, Smaug the Tyrannical. Uh, it, once more, rears back its head. And oh wait, hold on. Breathe uh, on you guys. Uh, hold on, 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 hold on. Mm-hmm. Holding. Hold on. I just realized you put me in the wrong spot. I just dropped because, you away. Yeah, I. She okay. would have teleported them ninety feet away. She can still see them through the trees. Yeah, you can. You guys can still okay. see. That's fine. Um, I just dropped you uh, out of the way because you said you went away. So, because my Twilight Sanctuary, uh, whenever a creature, including you, ends its turn in the sphere, you grant that creature one of the benefits. So, I ended my turn. I gave myself four temporary hit points. So, I need to give temporary hit points to everyone else. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Well, I'll okay. take some. Uh... Zeros. Wow, this is a very big net. You got three temporary hit points. A very small Thank you. Rogar, you got five temporary hit points. Okay. I'm not going to do one. The, the dumbass is I would like to remind you we are 90 feet away. Dragon's yeah, you guys are. I'm just looking at how big a, that cone would actually be on this map. So where you'd have to be is quite a ways away. Yeah, it is, it is scaled in a weird way so that the size of everything is smaller so all of our spheres and stuff like that are yeah. incredibly large compared. Oh, yeah, that's what I look wait. like. I don't I don't know, like 10 feet is real close. I mean, real let far. Me check. 
I'm checking something. Hold on. You seeing if you can somehow scale down it? No, no, no. Well, no, no. This waiting is brought to you by Critical Hit Games. <laughs> this is why that was off, because for something else, I had the tile size distance changed. It is now oh. correct. Okay, so now it is proper. That makes sense. Well... Are, are we sure? Yep. No, but he said the tall. So, I think because this creature is like floating in the air, it does a scaling different. Well, oh, that's a very big 30 sphere. foot sphere. Yeah, that's your Eurydice's Twilight Sanctuary. That's 140 feet. It says 28 feet. 28. Yeah, on your screen because the map is not adjusted on your screen. Okay. Ah, so, should we leave the screen and come back? If you do it. that, that should do it. I'm going to try that. Okay. Do you want to write down everybody's order before we all dip? Well, I'm already gone. if no. the DM is there, it's, it be fine. I'm still here, and still, so are your minis. Yeah. Yeah, so so we do we just go to a different map? And click and then... back on, see? Yeah, and then just click back. Click all right, uh, Jason, if you could do another line test for me. Uh, yep. Hold in. So where do I need to go? Oh, God. Any other map, and then just choose to come straight back. Well, which map are we on? Were we on? We yeah. are in the theater. Oh, that's North Horse. Yeah, yeah in the So there you go, Jacob. That's How? a sixty-foot cone. Okay, so for me it is still twelve feet, and that's that's fine. I I will just do. Uh, try exiting the uh, like not completely closing out the program, but like exiting the uh, campaign. Yes. Exit to exit to main screen. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. So you. How do I do that? Upper right corner with the X, hit X, and then choose exit to main screen. You guys are out of my range now because of that. We've been out of your range for that. (laughs) This makes me feel a little bit better. I thought I was pretty close to you still. This makes me feel a little bit better about my my Twilight Sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Because it makes more sense. It makes much more sense. Yep, now everything's the right size. Yeah. Because I was one, and I was like, damn, I have a really big aura. Yeah, damn, but my, my sanctuary is fucking huge. Yeah, the dragon definitely wasn't in my aura. <laughs> Alright, so, I need basically everyone who is right in here, which would be the dumbasses, Eurydice, Xeroth, and, well, that poor crocodile. Uh, <laughs> Antonio's also to, to make a constitution set. Oh no, not Antonio. Yeah, yeah. yeah and Antonio. I will Rogar fuck. is no longer in within range of you guys. Hold on, I've got to pull have... up all my dumbasses. Give me a second. Yeah. If Antonio goes down, you guys uh, are running down. Zoroth got a 24. All right. Mr. Dragon, please stop this. Fight me down here. Is it, what? what was it again? Constitution? It's a constitution save. Okay. Give me a second. 1,000 what? Shut up. (laughs) (laughs) Damn. That was impressive. Oh, I get her shit in her streams all the time. Are you ready? I know, and it's the worst. I am ready. (laughs) It'll be fun. Alright, so did... Uh, out of those who were in that group, did anyone get less than an 18? Um, I don't know yet, because I haven't rolled for them yet. Oh, goodness. That's a lot of dice. Yeah, he got his dragon breath back. He got yes, he did. Sorry, guys, I can't help you this time. Someone might go down. Fine, we're fine! Any chance Antonio has cutting words? I think cutting words is specifically a College of Lord thing. Yeah, I can't. Can, can Zeroth just you know? roar back All and try to intimidate? All I know is he's a bard. It? I don't know what bard. Okay, I should say that again, okay. Zeroth. Can Can Zeroth just roar back and try to intimidate it? <laughs> <laughs> On your turn, you can try to intimidate. It <laughs> oh, you'll be able to roar just fine on your turn. Yeah, you can roar, but you're not going to be able to try to intimidate until it's your turn because that's an damn. <laughs> 
Uh, Eurydice's got a 15, but she's using, since it's a new turn, uh, I'm using my reaction for an uncanny dodge. Okay. All right, so... Hold on, hold on, the dumbass anyone... need to roll. Well, okay. <laughs> Waiting on the dumbasses. Again, you just have to roll once using the highest. I know. Because we're doing it as a group, so... Man, I hope that dumbass has got 31. <laughs> okay. Not as good as last time. No, but still great. I love them. Yeah. Hey, it keeps saying just waiting for adventure to begin, to... even though I went to the map. Uh, hold I'm on. working. Yeah, no. Uh, no uh, that, that's uh, just because your map hasn't loaded yet. Oh, it's just taking this long. Okay. Yeah, it's just taking a while for it to load. Alright, so. Anyone who failed. I looked or did at a not have for any... half a second and I thought it said grenade. And then I was like, what? what? <laughs> and then I looked at it again and I was like, oh, that's a great accent. Okay. <laughs> no. Anyone who failed or doesn't otherwise have a means to reduce the damage by half takes 55 poison damage. Ooh. Holy shit. Good thing everyone passed? <laughs> right. That's half a lot of Half damage. of that would be 27. So... So if you passed, you took 27. Or if you had some other means to reduce it, you took, uh, to half, you took 27. Hey, if you hey, passed, you guys have and those temporary another means hit points that it, you can just burn off, so... Yeah. There if you, you passed and had another means to reduce it, uh, so you were at a quarter for whatever reason, then you'd be at 13. But pretty sure everyone took rage. 27. Doesn't Zeroth's Rage have it? No, half mm -hmm. it? no it's not the... It's not the poison. Not, he's not that kind of barbarian. Uh, I believe it's just bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Yeah. Yep. Um, okay. <laughs> you'll be okay, Zeroth. Feet. You'll be okay, I promise. Literally this next turn, you'll be okay. I, I uh, hate us, you guys. So no. that is the dragon's turn. Okay. Diana... Yeah, Diana's turn. Yeah. Diana is going to move to where she can see Zeroth within 60 feet of her. And she's okay. going to cast Polymorph, but first she's going to yell at Zeroth, Zeroth, just trust me, and <laughs> cast Polymorph and turn him into a Trianosaurus Rex. Ah. Nice. <laughs> very, Got big very head nice. and little arms. <laughs> I will send you the uh, the monster sheet for, for a T-Rex, so you have it. I don't know how to roll for a T-Rex. Because the, uh, uh, the good thing about Polymorph is you gain everything that the monster has, but you can tell the difference between friend and foe, which means you also get its like 136 hit points until it goes to zero. And then you revert back to you and however many hit points you have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because you are the up close fighter, I figured I'll give you something. <laughs> If only, Too bad I can't put him in a headlock. If only we had a large reduce. <laughs> and you were the same size as the dragon. Yep. Sweet. Basically. You also have something called multi-attack. Mm -hmm. Okay, can so, you send me this cheat? I it, sent it, it in Discord. The, it's the Discord chat. I don't see it. Yeah. Oh, it's in front of my face. <laughs> so, you can tell the difference between friend and foe, so you know who to attack and who not to attack. Sweet. That's about it, though. Okay. Hold on. Hope I, I don't it. try to eat you for a snack. No, because you can tell which of us is a friend or a foe. Okay. Okay, so the, the Zerosaur is... Zerosaur. Uh, <laughs> Zerosaur, it is now officially named that. Zerothosaur. Mm. Just Zerosaur. Zerosaur. Okay. Almost like Zerosaur, but Zerosaur. Zerothosaur. <laughs> Mine says no, more eloquent. That would be if you changed it. That would be if you changed him into a Velociraptor. Then it would be. So, essentially, what happens is all any of you hear is Diana's voice come from somewhere scream, Zeroth, just trust me. And all any of you see after that is his skin 
turn into this hard hide as he grows into a fully grown T-Rex that is as big as the dragon, because they're both huge beasts. And you are now eye level with the dragon. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. And all you know is who you are supposed to attack. Okay. I'm gonna do a chant. On your turn. <laughs> I oh, don't yeah. think you get an, a free hit when I change you. No. No, no, no I know. No, I'm just no. saying I'm gonna do a chomp when I can. Yep. All right. So, you. I'm still gonna say you've got a bonus action left, Diana. I can't do anything with it. Actually, yes, okay. I can. Um. Yeah. Because he's within 60 feet now, that means everybody's within 60 feet of me. Pretty um, much, yeah. Except for Rogar, because he moved out <laughs> towards the driver. Who is... So, question. If I were to technically give a bardic die to the dumbasses, does the dumbasses as a whole get to use it in the mob attack? Yeah, basically. Okay. Um... <sighs> I'm gonna leave it up to Rogar and you to decide is the dumbasses or is Rogar getting the inspiration die? I'm, I'm or do you well, need Rogar's it, Zeke? Too far away. Yeah. I can't hey, see Rogar, Rogar within 60 feet of me? I'm about He's not within 60. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's further away because he moved towards the dragon. Yeah. Okay. Um, is Zeke here? No? I don't he went know. Poof. But... Yeah, he went to ground for Okay. Ground. Um, Rogar, do you want or need an inspo die? Mm-mm. I think okay, then Eurydice's might, though. I'll yeah. give it to Eurydice's, then. Because she's raising her hand. <laughs> so you get a 1d10. Yay! I have too many tabs over What the hell is... <laughs> this? This is a level 1. So I can use <laughs> that with my insight check, right? When I do my insight check. Uh, it right? is yeah. any ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Mm-hmm. By the way, Zeroth, you have a speed of 50 and 136 hit points. Eight. So you're going right. to want to keep track of that. All right, so that's Diana's turn. So now the lone crocodile <laughs> is still frightened of Rogar. Yeah, but I'm so fine. it takes off. Moving away. <laughs> it's like it moves directly away from Rogar. Uh, so that's why it moved in the direction it did, but it just moves away. And um, anyone who is in there can take an attack of opportunity as a reaction. However, uh, let's see. Yeah, it is a new round. So, Zeroth, if you wanted to use your reaction as a T Rex, follow it whole. <laughs> you could. Uh, uh, attempt one attack against it. It, it will come back you guys very soon uh, sorry you cut out I didn't hear the last part I can attack what uh, the you have an attack of opportunity remaining, essentially the last remaining crocodile that's near you uh, okay. because it's scared of Rogar moved you know, ran away basically so you get an attack of opportunity if you wish of course I will I'll do a champ Alright. Okay, so this is a. F- so four, your bite four, attack D, is 10 seven. to hit. Oh, 10 to hit. Okay, so. So 1d20 plus. It's a that. plus 10 to hit. Okay, yeah. so 18 plus 10, so 28. Yeah, definitely too high. Uh, so. <laughs> and then. <laughs> roll damage. It is a 4d12 plus 7. So 8. 11. 10 and 8. Did you, did all you right. remember all the 37 plus 16, 7. 26, so 37. Plus 7. Plus 7, so 42 pierce, piercing damage. And if the target is a medium or smaller creature, I get to grapple it. Yeah, well, you don't need to grapple it I'm a, unless I'm you am it. around its dead body in your I'm mouth it. and swallow it. So, yeah. Uh, you just had a gator snack. Mm-hmm. Does that boost my health at all? <laughs> no. 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 But, uh, just just to call out real fast, um, because you were a barbarian, 
you still have your bonuses to your uh, natural armor from the Barbarian, so instead of 13, Does you're really? less than 14. Mm. It's not much higher. It's your con plus your dex, so you use the con yeah. of the creature and the dex of the creature, so your uh, natural armor currently is 14. And you're still really reading that line. My, my natural was 16. Yeah, yeah you're, you're a different creature. You use the, yeah, set, the creature Changing you, you into a T-Rex did lower your AC a bit. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Also, you still get your rage bonus. Sweet. Yep. So whatever that oh, seven right. plus whatever your rage bonus is. I okay. Yeah, uh, so question then: Does the T Rex also get wild magic? No. No. Damn. It's not that. <laughs> that would be crazy. No. Nope. You also have a tail, by the way, and you have something called multi attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I can't Speaking use my chomp or the tail at the same time on the same target. Right. So, mm -hmm. speaking of tail, uh -oh. at this point, the dragon uses one of its legendary actions oh, to <laughs> attempt to make a tail attack against you, Rogar. Oh, I've been waiting for this day. You have fun with this one? And, yeah, you've been waiting for this day. You've been waiting for Tailspire dice to decide to fuck me at every turn as I roll a natural one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> man. I, I really wanted this dragon fight with Rogar to be really intense. I This is letting me down. <laughs> <laughs> Please, dragon. I so, has your even gone yet? Nope. No, not yet. Uh, no, she's okay. about to, though. Because that was just the dragon's legendary action. He does in between turns. Yep. I didn't okay. do it the first round just because I was being nice, but now it's time to not. So now it's time you're to not. It is, it is your turn. Uh, and the dumbasses as well after you're done okay, with Okay, so first I'm going to use my Insightful Fighting, which gives me a, a, and a, the, use a d10 for with my Inspiration. I'm going to use uh, one of my advantages. <laughs> okay. I currently don't know who has what on advantage-wise. Uh, there's some good ones out there. I'm pretty sure everyone has at least one, oh. but... I'm 28, thank I god. Alright, and it is, uh, if I remember right, it is opposed by deception. their deception. But yeah. he's got uh, advantage, right? And, and what, is your, what is your uh, uh, disadvantage that you're imposing on him there, Rogar? Oh, uh, I, I chose charisma. Charisma, okay. Yeah. Alright, so him. disadvantage then on that because it is charisma based. Wait, you chose charisma? <laughs> Not saving throws. Oh, darn. Only checks. Darn. Damn, you should be very thankful that Rogar disadvantaged that because it would have actually tied with you. you okay. Been it's gonna Chris. Eurydice is then going to cast Cure Wounds on herself. <laughs> okay. Wait, so what did you do? What was that other thing you just did there? I, I, so when I attack it with one of my weapons, I will get sneak attack. Ah. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Oh, thank God. What's eight plus three? Eleven. Eleven. Thank God. I got the max healing. Nice. Very nice. All right. So. Dead eye in this dragon. That is your turn, correct? Yes. All right. So it uses another one of its legendary actions and tries to hit on the backswing. Wait, hold on. Uh... Uh, that uh, that breath attack it did. Um, would that have counted as an attack for uh, for sanctuary? No, because it's an area effect. Okay. Mm -hmm. It has to be specifically attacking. Okay. Just making yeah. sure. Yep. Uh, so, what is your AC there, Rover? Uh, I am 20. And is the okay. dragon 60 feet visible? The dragon is visible from a lot farther away, but he is not within 60 feet. The Xeroth, Eurydice, the dumbasses, Antonio, they're within 60 feet. Dragon and Rogar. Okay, the map is confusing for me, down. hence why I'm asking. I apologize. Oh no, worries. the <laughs> dragon and Rogar are. I'm even though it's you just measured it and it's longer than that. I'm going to say they're about thirty feet away. 
from you guys. I'm so how much? They're ninety. They're ninety feet from you and Jacob. Okay. Okay. Now, as I said, so Rogar. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so it used another one of its legendary actions, Come on. and um, its tail comes back say? around after you dodged it the first time, and yeah. this time it smacks you. Good job. Uh, and you take sixteen bludgeoning damage. Ooh, bludgeoning damage. Okay, I'm, I'm only lost twenty five of my hit points. And you know what? Second level, uh, hellish rebuke again. Nice. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna keep doing this tango. And what's the save on that? Uh, seventeen. Oh, I rolled bad. Seventeen. Yeah. And wisdom. Uh, dexterity. With dexterity. Okay. So. Do, do, do. Uh, please, please. Yep. And passed. Uh, so it'll take eight points of fire damage. It was sixteen. So. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> Large or extra large. Okay. Like and it is now Zeus. <laughs> you, if you are trying to figure out what size you are, you are huge. You are the same yeah. size of the dragon. Yeah, the okay, dragon is also huge. I, also I can't remember size out. classifications, okay? Say okay. I, I was just, uh, whenever you need to know, on that sheet that you were sent, it will say it on there. Oh. Right there. Gotcha. Alright, so it is your turn, Zerosaur. Zerosaur, eh? Mm-hmm. Yes. How close am I to the dragon? 30 feet. I'm gonna, gonna help a raggle. Oh, wait, did the dumbasses go? Did the dumbasses do their thing? Oh, well. Um, yes, they are basically charging up towards Rogar and the dragon. Cool. Oh, guys. I know, you have um, a movement of 50 feet. Okay, I'm gonna speed past all of them. Oh, and, and because get to I ended dragon. my turn in my thing, I get hit points. Okay. So you're gonna speed past all of them, and where, like, are you trying to go behind the dragon? I'm gonna try and get right up behind the dragon, yeah. I'm gonna try to get right up behind. You've got enough movement. I'll say you can, you can easily do that. Uh, okay. However,. If you remember, I do not do flanking in my game, so it's not mm. going to give you advantage. I know. I just wanted to get behind That's him cool, so that I'm not, like... I'm going to stop in my little bubble friends. so I can recognize where people are and if they're okay. near me. Are you going to bite okay. it? Yeah. Um, Alright. Give it a good job there. Is multi-attack? Um, the multi-attack says that one uh, you can do one bite and one tail, but you can't make both attacks against the same target. Mm. Ah, well, uh, that makes okay. sense. Unless the DM's willing to be nice because it's a polymorph thing yep. and we'll let him do it on the same target. Nope. Well, what if he... Okay, okay. I'm gonna video game logic this, okay? So... When, no, it, it's one creature. I've tried. Yep. So, uh, tw- 21 to hit. So it's not like where its feet are separate okay. entities and its tails are separate. No. So that uh, you uh, you're biting. Yep. All right. So you snap at it and you seem to you know find purchase and you're digging your teeth in. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. So no. Forty twelve. I gotta type it down into the bar here, otherwise I'm gonna forget it. Now I gotta do math. Okay, did you roll all four? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, plus seven. Hold on. Just read them out one at a time. Nine, two, so twenty-two, twenty-eight, plus seven, so thirty-five. Plus three. Plus three. Yeah. Plus three is thirty-eight. Thank you. Keep forgetting okay. about that. Mm-hmm. You do have your reach. Okay. Okay. So is that is that my go. only attack? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait, does he only get the one attack? 
Yes, I think yes. so. The, the, the multi attack, he doesn't get that. I can just, I can just wiggle attack. my tail in frustration. Yes. <laughs> I'm just making sure. I still have questions too. Bear with me. <laughs> All right. So the dragon, after Wait. taking that bite, no, this Wouldn't is. Wouldn't it be Rasmus and them now? Not yet. Legendary. Oh no, he has an actual turn, doesn't he? Action. Legendary He's actions go in between action. turns. Yes. That's crazy. Alright, and your AC zero? Oh no. Uh, 14. 14 apparently. 14. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Uh, <laughs> Dragon fight me. It, it smacks you with his tail. Mm. For eh, not much. A whopping eleven points of bludgeoning damage. Okay, and now, ba to have? babe, no, 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 no. Rem remember, uh, you currently have a hundred and thirty-six hit points as a T-Rex. Mm -hmm. This does not take from your actual hit points on your character sheet. Okay, yeah. so I have, have one twenty. Just write down, just write down one hundred and thirty-six somewhere and keep track Minus. of it. But eleven. If he is raging, it is still reduced to half. So six or five. I'm gonna have to review these rules after tonight just to make sure I agree with him. But I'm gonna I'm gonna let <laughs> okay. it go for now. Okay. okay. Thank you, Jason. I was like, I know for like, if you shift, you get you can still get all your. I don't know if polymorph works the same. Yeah, that, that's why I'm gonna review them after tonight. Hey, but I'm gonna okay. let them work for tonight because. Okay. <laughs> We're having fun. Fault. Fuck it. Yeah. We're having fun. Fuck it. But I will be reviewing these after tonight. That is fair. I feel like you're just happy I finally did something in no, you combat. Did something great. <laughs> you did something awesome. Alright, so now Rasmin and his band of Mary okay. and Mary. Okay. How far away are we from now? You are currently mm. about 200 feet now. Okay. We'll so say within the polymorph again, spell. If you, hold on. If you double move, uh, basically, again, this round, that'll put you at 150 uh, when it comes around to your turn next round. Hmm. Hold on, Justice. Well, I'm you'll be at 150 uh, at the end of this I round. will be right back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I can't do anything from this distance, so yeah, we're just going to keep moving forward. Okay. Alright, so now it is Rogar's turn. Cool. Um, bonus action, I'll harness my divinity by expending my channel divinity to get back one second level spell slot. Okay. And then, uh, I guess I'm just gonna attack this dude. Alright. Uh, pretty sure this is probably not a 17. Nope. That does not hit. Okay. Darn. Man, I guess I could have used as, it. As your, your sword seems to just kind of skid along its scales, not finding any place to make purchase and cut. Here, let me see if this makes a less sound when I roll. Okay, that's a... Okay, um... Uh, 21. That actually hits. You You managed to dig it into uh, the meat of its leg. Alright, I'll expend... I'll expend a first level spell slot to Divine Smite. So... 1, 2... 1, 2... Because I've improved Divine Smite... So he is getting uh, 19, 20, 21, so 20, 21, 22 uh, points of damage, and uh, 12 of it was Radiant, if that makes a difference. Okay. All right. That was and my action, my bonus that action. Is... That's my turn. Okay. And then you hear from uh, behind you Antonio's voice uh, as he says, 
Give him hell, Rogar! And you get a Bardic Inspiration. Sweet. And it's a D8. Woo! 14. Oh, love. <laughs> it is now Jacob's turn. Alright, uh, after... I'm back. After sharing, getting the the new shared vision and watching a, the person that he is seeing through run forward, he is going to a, attempt to move forward without tripping over anything because he currently can't see what's in front of him now. In the, okay, quick question: Given the shared vision and how they're at this next to each other, can it technically be? When Diana moved during Jacob's turn, he technically moved up with her. No, he has to move on his I own turn. My own. So. I can turn around and look at you. You can. You could have done that when you ended your turn. You can look and glare how you want. I mean, you, I, can, I only have I to look at Zeroth to cast the spell after that. Yeah. I, I will say that, Jacob, all, you have, all oh. you have to do doesn't cost an action. You can just say. Diana, please, please look this way, and she turns her head. Three actions, you're good to move. Hey, oh, can you turn around? All right, thanks. And he is Try going to move up. Uh, <laughs> as uh, he's going to move up his thirty feet uh, so, to yep. be somewhat next to her, and she, through her vision. All right, can you turn and look back? Uh, through her vision, can Jacob can see the dragon, right? Can Absolutely. he only see the bottom of the dragon? Oh no. Can you see the full dragon? Not the full thing, but mostly you can, what you can see is about the upper two-thirds of it. Okay, so he because can see the there's, head of it. There's, there's brushes and, you know, trees and stuff like that kind of interfering, so... Okay. So that's he can the see... bottom half of it is, is more obscured. Okay, so he can see the head of this thing. Yes. Okay, Jacob's going to pull out uh, one of his things of bile, and he's going to go, Oh, I know Rogar can take this. I hope I don't hit anyone else. And he is going to, because he can't see all the way, he's going to attempt to throw it up to where it just barely hits the dragon's head in its range. Okay. It is a 20-foot oh. radius. <laughs> Sarah, buddy. <laughs> that he, look, he knows the, he knows the, the dinosaur can take it. Yeah. Dinosaur can't I'll, I'll be fine. The dinosaur's also out of my radius, I think. It is it does not hit either of them, just the dragon. Oh, oh nice. awesome. Jacob's a smart boy. Uh, it is a dex saving throw, I believe. Give me a moment to get down to it. Like, yes, it's a dex saving throw of 17. Alright. And then Jason, you got the negative four for hex. Uh-huh. Okay. I forgot to include it. All right. Uh, he fails that one and chooses not to fail. It. All right. So he takes half of... 23, so it is... Uh, 11. 11, yeah. Sorry. So he takes 11 points of acid damage. Okay. All right. And with that, it is the top of the round. And uh -oh. the dragon's turn again. So, let's see here. Holy shit. If it's. Roll 20 might be fucking me on some things, but it's unfucking Roll 20. me on others. Yeah, uh oh. Or, uh. Tailspire, I should say. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Zera. And Rogar. Mm -hmm. Actually, Zeroth, you wouldn't because he stays within your range the whole time, but Rogar, you get an attack of opportunity if you wish, as the dragon basically flaps its wings and kind of just flies right over uh, uh -oh. Zerosaur's head, landing behind him. This motherfucker. Closer to us, or... No, he's... Basically jumped behind Zeroth. So okay. 14 would be 6, 7. Oh, 21 again. Okay. And, so uh, that hits rear. Go ahead and do your damage. 
Fuck it. I'll uh, go ahead and expend uh, third level Divine Smite, because if I hit, I smite. Smart. All right. So eight plus eight is my improved. Third level is so it's two and then three and then four. So I have four more. And then plus the D6. And then plus three. Uh 30 points uh 34 points of damage altogether. Okay. Sir, don't fucking okay. run away from me. So it he takes that damage. And then he, as he gets behind Zerasaur, lowers his head, and levels another blast that goes right across Zeroth and you, Rogar, but does not reach the rest of the party. So I need constitution saves from both of you. Oh, what no. a bunch of dumbasses. Right. So, so no, as a well, T-Rex, Nick... Well, actually, no, they ran up next to Rogar, so yes. Oh. Nick. Yeah, yeah. As a T-Rex, do you have a plus four to your con save, I believe? Yeah. Okay. Alright. I, a... I think. 21. I might be wrong. Since those Hang on. Next to me, I get their bonus, and they get my bonus. Wait, the, the dumbasses? Do they get Quick wrong? question. Because yeah, I might be wrong. Yeah. Jason, a 19 constitution, is that a plus four to his con save? Yes. It does not have yes. any additional okay. bonuses. It is just a plus. I was just asking to make sure I'm reading it right because it's laid out differently on a monster sheet than a person sheet. Oh my god, the dumbass has just made it. <laughs> I got a 21. Hey, I got All a right. 26. So, the dumbass has made it. If, uh, they rolled an 18. If you, uh, they got an 18. If, they rolled a okay, 3. So they, <laughs> well, they passed. I know. So, I'm so happy. If, if you fail. You took 65 points of poison damage. If you passed, you took 32. Jesus. Um, how- Are you happy I gave you all those extra hit points? Yeah. How are- how, how are the dumbasses fairy? It was only me and Rogar that got hit. No, it was all the No, they, they actually had moved up next to Rogar, so they were all in range. But- uh. They're looking pretty rough. Oh, now, no. luckily, luckily, some of the more squishy of them don't, like, they don't, it didn't go right up next to Rogar side by side. That was more Lee and Cole. Yeah. Uh, and I guess, um, well, I guess, uh, or, uh Agni. Agni. Agni, yeah. yeah. Agni, would, Agni as well. would have been in the front. Agni would yeah, have just charged but, immediately. Yeah, but um, the other two, they kind of hung back a little bit, so they're still not looking great. They didn't ca get caught by this one, but they're not looking great because of the other ones that they got hit with. So <laughs> that's fair. So Ooh. that's that's what the uh, the dragon does. A uh, uh, quick question. Turn. Yes. Uh, half of uh, to maintain concentration since he did thirty-two damage. It's sixteen to DC. Yes, it would be 16. Okay, I got a 15 on the die, and I get a plus 10. So I'm good. So oh, I can... Hey, don't put other paladins Hey, you me. did it to where it has to... It has disadvantage on charisma saving throws, yes? Mm -mm. Only charisma yes. checks. Only charisma checks. That saves. I know, I, I said Does the same thing. Does it currently thing, have but... disadvantage on any saves? It has a D minus a D4. It has a min minus a D4. To any of the saves. Yep. Yes. Okay. Okay, um, I can I can uh, work with that. Uh, Cole. Uh. Oh, never mind. Now that's something else. Never mind. It's not their turn. I know. I right, I, I, is... I I was just I thought I thought there was something. <laughs> All right. It is now Diana's turn. Okay. I might need help. And you no, I am not close enough to heal you, buddy. You are approximately uh, 90 feet away from Rogar and about 150 feet away from the dragon. God, this is Okay. Um... I am, for a brief moment, going to turn to Jacob and ask him, do you need to be closer? 
Uh, yes, I do. Um, I can do that. Okay. Um, can... Okay, g- give me half a second to make sure I'm reading this. Okay. Can I hold my turn for after Jacob's? You, what you no, you can't hold your turn, but you can hold an action. Okay. The way it works, yeah. So what that means is, if you're holding your action, you either take your movement and bonus action now, and then you hold your action for a trigger, or you are going to give up your move and bonus action to do your, uh, to do an action at a specific time. Okay. I'm going to hold my spell to do, uh, Zeke, do you want me to do... It is up to you. That will not decide. Doesn't matter which one? Okay. Go for it. I am going to hold a, um... Fifth level dissonant whispers. Okay. So when Jacob gets us within range, she automatically attacks with it. Okay. <laughs> That's right. So your your trigger is that when you get uh, moved within range, then you're going to release your spell. Okay. Yes. All right. Fair enough. Uh, so now. The dragon uses one of its legendary actions. Ooh. Actually, uses two of them. Uh, and I need wait. Zeroth, how zero many does it have? A legendary, legendary actions come charge each turn. Yeah. Legendary okay. resistances do not. So all right. I'm still zero. learning. So I have okay. questions. Yep. Zero, what, what, you what need did to you make say? a dexterity saving throw. That is just a straight okay. d20. I got, I got a 15. Okay. Uh, so, you will take... Oh, shit. Come on, roll. Roll already. There we go. Does he still get the... You will because... pay 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Does that reduce because okay. of the raging? Because yeah, of bludgeoning? Already, we, already, we already said for tonight it does. Okay. Even though I'm so... going to look that up afterwards. So you take 8 then because it's reduced to half. But okay. you are knocked prone. How dare... How are you going to get back up? I'm a yeah. wiggle. You're a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You have no arm strength. I got a big ass head. Just turn up on it. Use my snap to push up. Right. And it is now Eurydice's turn. Oh, hey! Actually, hey. sorry. It is. Mm. Uh, right before Eurydice's turn is actually when Rasmus' uh, turn is supposed to be. I keep forgetting because I don't have a mini in there for him. <laughs> okay, um, I'm still pretty far away, aren't I? You are 150 feet away. You are currently the same distance away, but a different direction uh, than Diana and Jacob are. Okay. So you can clearly see now through the trees, there's a big fucking dragon. That is a big fucking dragon. Uh, uh son of a bitch. Okay, um... Am I allowed to break up my little posse? Absolutely. Okay. Um, oh, man, there's so many pieces to work here with. Uh, <laughs> how, how far away does that need to be? Okay, wow. she got to be a lot closer for that. Um, fuck. Not used to all these little spells and stuff. All right. Um, I'm Rasmuth is going to try and run ahead of Galar and her party. They're going to, they're going to travel the same distance, but they're just going to go to the right so that they're not up 
that's right on top of Rasmuth, they're going to keep moving forward. Okay. So that she so that she can get well, ultimate goal. Yeah, I'm just going to keep moving up for now. Okay. So at the end of this, um, you guys will be at a hundred feet away. And I want to see what I can do with Rasmuth. Okay, you know what? From a hundred feet away. Well, in order Rasmus to do 100 feet, though, you'll, you'll have had to use your act, since you only moved 25 on movement. That's uh, using uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Move okay, yeah. Action. Then, yeah, 100 feet is where I'll go, and that's the end of my turn. Okay. All right, so Eurydices. Yes. You are up. Eurydices is going to take out her bow and shoot the dragon with their bow. And because she's done her... Uh, insightful fighting, she gets sneak attack. Okay. She did her homework. Yes, I did. And, and you are currently 90 feet away. Yes. So, just take that into account. I have, I'm, I don't have the stats up for the short bow range. Uh, 80 feet so to 320 feet. Hmm. Right? Is that Okay, it? so if it's... Well, what yep. it means is, if it's over 80... You roll at disadvantage. Okay, then I'm moving forward as far as I can. If, yeah. I'm okay. moving forward. And if it is over 320, it's out of range. Okay, I'm moving forward right, so 10 yeah. feet then. Perfect. All right. Let me figure out That'll where 10 it. feet is. Okay. Right about there. There we go. There we go. Would that be difficult terrain, DM? Nah. <laughs> Not for not for her moving her movement of thirty feet, only moving ten feet. It doesn't yeah. matter. I mean, that's just a question. She can get there. Those ten <laughs> feet were really hard. Yes. There's a twenty hit, a dirty twenty. A, yeah, that does hit. Yay! And because I have well, sneak well, it, well, I well, uh, it is a, a d six, and then I get to do. Five D six. <laughs> okay. So that's eleven uh, normal damage. Regular. I need more D six. Where, where are my dice? <laughs> oh, hey, there's another one. Ooh. Uh, let me get my calculator up. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do the same thing. Okay. This is gonna be good. Okay. Twenty-two damage. Or er, plus okay. eleven. So thirty-three damage. Thirty-three. All right. Nice. Okay. All right. So, at the end of your turn, he uses a legendary action. You. Uh -oh. As its tail swings around and smacks at the prone Xerosaur. Uh oh. It really hates you, man. So it gets advantage. Mm hmm. It just can't uh, deal with so, competition. Yep. That will definitely hit you. How dare. How dare. So, as the tail slams down upon you, you take a whopping 14 reduced to 7 uh, because of the rage. Alright. You know, I was thinking about it. If nothing else, raging makes sense because he's a giant T-Rex. He's angry. <laughs> Yeah. He's just gonna attack wildly to begin with. <laughs> and Eurydice, what do the dumbasses do in your like? Describe your action. Well, what do you think there? Uh, attack. <laughs> Agni. Agni is just whacking at the guy. So is Cole. All right. So, okay. So they both have charged forward due to the distance that the dragon is away from him. Agni being a monk can actually get No, there. that's not Agni. Agni is er, a no, that's, uh, that's No, that's um, That's Echo. Echo. I always get I always forget his name. 
So Echo, though, being a monk, he could charge up there, but he st stayed back with Orion all the more. Yeah, no, um, you, well, you know what? Uh, yeah. Echo will actually uh, go forward as well. He will charge as well. Everyone, you know okay. what? Everyone, all the dumbasses except Orion will charge. Mm -hmm. All right, and so, but he did, he had stayed back a little bit closer to Orion before. So all of them can get up to a about where the Xerosaur is lying down, but not quite within striking range of the dragon because he's just a little bit too far out of reach. Okay. He's got reach, so he can reach Xeroth, uh, Zer but he's like just out of their reach. Which dumbass are we talking about? Echo? All of them. Okay. Except for Orion. He stayed pretty yeah. bad. Um, but Agni, Agni is very much in front. <laughs> he wants right. to take down this dragon. Right. It is now Zeroth's turn. Alrighty, I need to get the fuck up. Alright, so that's half your movement. <clears throat> oh, really? Now, I'm gonna chomp this motherfucker. You know, um, now I'm gonna hit him with my tail, see how he likes it. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. That's very, that's very funny to do. Ooh, I got a nat 20. Here comes my oh. tail, buddy. Nice. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. So does he for for the nat twenty as a dragon? What all is he ro as the t dinosaur? I'm, what I'm, all is he I'm, I'm assuming just an extra three d eight. Yep. No, no. What your what is your tail? What does the actual tail damage say? So what tail damage, damage says melee weapon attack plus ten to hit, reach ten feet, one target hit twenty. Uh, for, uh, I, I don't Bait. understand. How What's the numbers in here? It's some damage. It's oh, number three, 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 3d8. 3d8 plus, what is it? Seven. seven. Okay, so it will be 6d8 plus seven. Okay. Plus your three. You're raging. Yeah, so 6d8 plus ten. Okay. Mm -hmm. These rolls so far. You shouldn't hit me with your tail, dude. <laughs> Coming after you. <laughs> there is okay. some down. Save some for me. I will. I will. I'll let you get the last hit. Yeah. Fuck this dude next to me. Kill him. I'm by some fucking miracle, I finally get the kill shot. Zerosaur, only help me. <laughs> Where's my phone? I need a I need a larger calculator. My brain can't uh, do these complex calculations. Fair enough. I need my calculator. Zerosaur, you are my steam. This calculation is brought to you by my calculator. Oh, you're just so cute, Miss Meows a lot. You're just so cute. Okay, uh, he's gonna take um, a whopping uh, 66 damage. Jesus! <laughs> nice. <clears throat> I have to show him up. All right. Come on, Zero. Oh, take him out. out. He's he's looking pretty beat up. All right. He's, he's pretty rough right now. I will say. And it is now No matter who turn. kills the dragon, Agni will be the one to say he killed the dragon in all of his stories. I just want the gallbladder. Um, okay, no, move me 30 sense. feet. Okay. And so I will... Just uh, of, you're just out of striking range. That, that's fine. I, I need to take a lunch break. Alright. Uh, yeah, I take a, uh, a little sandwich. And I uh, heal myself for... Uh, it's like those moments in Legend of, uh, in Breath of the Wild where you're fighting like this big like a Lionel or something, and just then you pause, pause the game and eat the food. <laughs> yeah, I'll heal myself thirty-seven hit points. Nice. Okay. So I'm at a whopping eighty. Nice. And then uh, bonus action. I, I I can't do anything else. I'll lose my hex on. Not like I need it though. Uh, I would keep it. Term. Keep it. Keep it. Please. <laughs> yeah. 
That is up to you to decide. I don't, I mean... Because remember, I have Dissonant Whispers held. So oh, that, that won't that, help you. Yeah, that minus four will help. The minus four isn't for me. Oh. Somebody has a minus four on it, and that's all I care about. Yeah. But you know, that's my turn. Anton, if you want to send me a healing word... Uh, you know I, can, I can do a healing bolt, but that would be an action. I would prefer it just to... Oh man, it's prefer 46 it. yeah. plus? Healing bolt is so, 46? I... Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. it's a nice cantrip. I, I deleted so, it from my campaign, so don't ever get rid of it, because you'll lose it permanently. <laughs> cool. So, remnant, so, speaking of Bye. speaking of uh, healing, Antonio does indeed do some healing, but not to you. He's actually uh, trying to tend to Orion, who's kind of hung back, <laughs> and who looks like, pretty uh, bad. Uh, uh, he looks pretty bad on that fast. So he, he seems to be doing some kind of healing spell back there. Hmm. Yeah. He's like a broken rib. Yeah. He's, he's, Orion is definitely the kind of character, person, whatever. It's just like, if he gets a paper cut, it's the worst inconvenience in the world. And he will make... <laughs> he will just... Kill that person. <laughs> Alright, kill him. Alright, so... Jacob Ames is yeah, Jacob's like, turn. What is Jacob's <laughs> turn? Alright, uh... He's going to throw his vitriolic sphere into the crap. No, uh, he's gonna <laughs> grab onto uh, Diana. Alright, I hope you're ready, my fox. And, uh, use Thunderstep to move 90 feet forward. To get within right. 60 feet of the dragon. Okay. So and when that, that happens... Do. Okay, now... Hold on. When you guys do that, oh, uh, as you are as you arrive there, you huh. you notice that off to the side a little ways, there seems to be a dwarven female and some other uh, dwarves that are following her, and a dwarven male, and they're they're about 150 feet away, kind of trudging through the edge of the bog, charging in your direction, kind of staring at the this big-ass dragon. Anyway, when they get there, well, when they get there, because they're within 60 feet of the dragon, Diana's yeah. spell will release. Okay. And so, what she's... What uh, she's actually... She's going to yell... At the dragon that it is no longer welcomed within her lands and cast a fifth level dissonant whispers. Okay. What is the saving throw for that? The saving throw is a 16 wisdom. <laughs> 16 wisdom. Let's see what he gets. With That's that minus four. The die. With that minus four. Yeah, that's a 19 on the die, though. Ooh, yeah. He's 50. And his wisdom's pretty good. <laughs> that's fine. He still takes half damage, then. Okay. Go ahead and roll. So, I need to roll all of these. Give me a moment. <laughs> <laughs> and I need a calculator all now. All of these. Mr. Dragon. Please don't fail me, D&D &D dice. You are bastard. I'd like you to know that the uh, the music that play uh, the Undertale music that's playing right now is the dummy the dummy song that you fight when you're fighting the dummy. Six. So seven. <laughs> uh -oh. I love this dice. Um, what is? Yeah, what is thirty-eight divided by half? That would be nineteen. Mm -hmm. So, okay. 19 uh, psychic damage. 19 psychic damage. So, Diana, show me what you got. <gasps> Fucking thank God! <laughs> Finally! I'm sorry, Rover. It had three hit points left. Yay! Gosh, shit. <laughs> this is 
is weird. Okay, so uh, the way I see this happening, and let me have this, is when they teleport there and she sees this dragon, she's actually, her, uh, her entire hands and forearms will cover in the frost as she screams that it is no longer welcomed within her lands because this is her home now. And the frost will come from inside and spread out, releasing as vapor as the dragon opens its mouth and completely freeze its head, moving all the way down its neck before it just snaps off from the weight and lands in the water. Outstanding. I uh, well, uh, <laughs> could have huh. used those. Uh, all right. Yeah, and... so essentially it goes all the way down the neck and the head just falls off. Yep, and that's exactly how it happens. As the now headless body of the dragon slumps into this bog and begins to kind of sink into the muddy bottom beneath. Oh. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Damn! As it oh, what, a, what a fucking cliffhanger. Killed him. Wait. Ow. Oh, I think I can't land on Xeroth because you're um, that as an we ally. We killed him. We did it, guys. We won d <laughs> We won you. I Freaking... got the kill shot! Yeah, I'm so proud of you. Right on. And it was against a dragon! I will say, Rogar will always I will this. say, that I just Agni feel bad for Rogar, because he really dragon, wanted to kill this dragon. Put a foot on it, and he'll be like, I have killed the dragon. <laughs> Diana will go up and smack the shit out of him. <laughs> I'm... She is not there letting him take her win. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. Yep. There we go. Okay, so... Yep, the, uh, the, it's pretty much exactly how you described it. The now headless body of the dragon slumps into the swamp and begins to actually kind of slow, due to its weight, slowly sink into the mud underneath the water. Um, She's going to release Polymorph and immediately oh, point at Zeroth and go, Get your fucking gallbladder! Agni, Agni, because he's an idiot. He's gonna put his foot on the dragon, you know, like he's, he's like, you know, like, just triumphantly standing. He's gonna be like, I have slain this dragon ball by myself. <laughs> Diana's gonna look at him oh. and go, you try to claim my kill. I will string you up like a scarecrow, gut you like a deer, and leave you to rot. <laughs> and he just blinks for a moment. And he's just like, Okay. <laughs> Get away. off the dragon! <laughs> he backs away slowly. Uh, Jacob is immediately um, turning and preparing a vitriolic sphere to the people that are coming. And yep. it's just holding. As, as you guys do <laughs> Kill see, him. Uh, with, the, uh, with the cartoon peril of the dragon and uh, the few crocodiles that were about all gone, the only apparent threat, as far as you can tell, could be from the dwarves that seem to be approaching you from the west. Diana... So, I take it Diana make, and Jacob are, are the closest. Um, well, you're all actually about about the mm -hmm. same distance I'm away from them because they're coming from the side and you guys are all oh, wow, I went in the tree. Yeah, kind the tree. of in the same area. They're, they're to the west of you. Basically, as you look at the map... I mean, you, there is a compass on there that you can have a visual mm -hmm. of if you've been enabled it. Yep, uh, I have it. So, so, yeah, so they're to the west, So, and you're all kind of pretty much, you know, grouped up again now. Um, how, how Diana... Far are they? Um, at this point in time, now that it's kind of gone through the rounds, we're no longer in initiative, um... They're now up to about a hundred feet. Quest, question: More seconds um, go by. You, you said the bog is pretty deep, mm -hmm. right? And I've been running through slush. You've been running kind of along the edges. Okay, just want to make and sure. It's it's still not too deep though. It's only about estimate a couple feet deep of water and mud. Okay, so it's I'm, up I'm, to his like. I'm a wee man. Yeah. No. He's a dwarf. It's up mm. to his chest. Aw, it'd be funnier. 
Diana's um, gonna turn to Jacob and go, you speak dwarvish. I don't. I do? Okay. Uh, I will say, uh, once they get within 90 feet, I'll move my hex, because the draw can <laughs> hide. I'll move my hex onto the, um... I mean, I, I don't the even girl dwarf. You. Man, my dumbasses are useless. None of them speak dwarvish. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> While while that's going on, uh, Jacob's going to, hey, if you can uh, get anything gleamed off of that dragon, that would also be useful, other than the gallbladder selling money. Oh, I plan on taking all of its teeth and as many scales as I can. All right, well, hurry up. <laughs> I'll handle this. Jacob Play good. nice at first, at least. Don't immediately threaten. All right, so I, I guess Rasmus well, and his... his- Entourage are gonna be trudging up, I guess. Wait, no, I can't go do that yet, sir. You need me to see. I'm. I'll, I'll escort my son to go with him. You can hold yeah, my got, little cauldron. Rogar can walk me there. Yeah. I, At least I am not. There. No, I will stay with you while he dissects a dragon. All right, Rogar, if you if you will please. I'm still coming. All right, <laughs> Zeroth, you you work. Okay. Yeah, Zeroth is over Zeroth here. He's already trying to get gut deep. He's just trying to find whatever this thing is. Um, he doesn't I, even know what the fuck it looks like. Eurydice is not knowing what anyone is talking about because she has zoned out completely um, for the past two uh, minutes. Too busy with the, the idiots. Got it. All right. Uh, and he is going no, to start no, walking. No, like, no. She'll be like, huh? And she's got like sacred flame for, like uh, ready to go. Oh. <laughs> Eurydice, put the magic away. It's fine for now. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I just hexed the fucking girl to <laughs> Whoop. Too hey, at late. Least it, at least it wasn't a knife this time. True. Sure, that, that hex doesn't do any damage to her, does it? If I hit her, it does. She has um, <laughs> advantage on a uh, charisma check, so don't do anything charismatic. She's a bard. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> she is. She is fully charismatic. <laughs> she actually has a 20 charisma. Yeah, she has 20 charisma. I also right, so, have 20 charisma. Uh, I will begin the trudge to meet them about halfway. All right. Or less yeah, so from, if they're running. Diana, from, from, from the distance, you're gonna so hear. He you're trip. just gonna hear the, the the small dwarf. Just hey, old friends. H- hold on a moment. Oh, he speaks common. Well, most what? people speak. Yeah, that's, that's so fun. Look, we've ran into some interesting people. I mean, that's fair. We did literally have to... Well, I had to speak to a... Hey, Wild. Yeah. You, you well, guys no, can probably but, observe from a distance that all of us are out of breath. God, Every I'm single so, one of us. We're breathing so fit. hard. Diana's just gonna be, like, curiously tilt her head, and she's like, Were you running towards the dragon? Well, we heard the noise, and then, uh... We just said, we'll help. We heard uh, screams. Uh, you, you'd, you'd be amazed on how much ground we've just traveled. <laughs> who the fuck screamed? So who are you? I think it was the dragon. Oh, I apologize. Uh, my name is Razmuth Uri. Uh, this is my sister Galar Uri. And uh, this is her traveling bunch of... Yeah. Anywho. Uh, um, we, we, we thought you needed assistance, so we started running towards you. Why are dwarves in the north? Uh, we're here on uh, for, for personal reasons. Uh, that and my fucking brother left something I made for him. Uh, huh. Uh, he, he left it. Uh, he dropped it. I don't remember what it was. Either way, I have to find it. That. Uh, oh. Believe me, if you, if you, believe me, if you knew Frodi, you, you'd understand. I'll take your word. F- are, are they lying by any chance? Like, just because Diana's off roll, roll on a, an insight. adrenaline high at the moment. Yeah. Roll your insight. Um, meanwhile, Eurydice leans over to Lee and she says in deep speech, oh, Imagine being that short, the water comes up to your chest. And while she, it's like up to her stomach, and Lee just looks at her, and she's just, he's just like, "You say that like you're not two feet tall." Actually, <laughs> so offensive. How tall is Eurydice? She's three feet, right? No, Eurydice is five two. 
Just make it true. Just make it true. Sir, I'll kill that man. Raz, Raz, me. Razmuth is 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 a, a very stout four six. Mm. Seventeen plus ten. Uh, I got a um, fifteen plus. Oh, okay. Eurydice uh, also would have climbed onto uh, Lee's back again. <laughs> so yeah, I got an unnatural twenty. So. Does it look like he's lying? Like he's not telling us everything? I, I'm telling the full truth. Yeah. As far okay. as you can tell. Diana will step forward a bit and go, So you're looking for something that your brother lost. Do you have any idea of. Uh, sorry, continue. Any specific ideas where, because we're currently heading towards the kingdom. Uh, it's uh, it's a bit of a long story. I mean, he did kind of lose it on the way to this. There's there's a kingdom up here somewhere. We've been looking for it. Uh, we're not exactly uh, well-versed with this land. I would imagine. Well, I would say that we aren't either. Yeah. It's fucking you aren't. Cool. You ran us into a dragon. I yeah. would say we I aren't. I was six! Again, we aren't <laughs> well traversed in this thing. I mean, that, 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 that's dragon. a hefty kill right there. That, that's something to be a co- uh, to be commended there. <laughs> it's the creature I've ever actually cl- killed. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> so. Point being. So, why you're heading towards the kingdom to find your brother's item. Y- yes, and then I have some personal business with uh, with their queen. Why? And she's immediately going to be on edge. Can can Rasmus detect this in her voice? Oh, it's very obvious because oh, she okay. immediately okay. gets like a very defensive. All right, she is <clears throat> an open book. <laughs> that is so sad. Well, it's something a bit personal, actually. Um, and if I'd probably said it to the wrong ears, I could be in a lot of trouble for it. Um, hey, we're here to commit light treason. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am gonna have to demote you at the rate it's going. Hey! <laughs> Secrecy is like what we're all about here. You're, oh, you know what? Can Eurydice do an insight check on What do you guy want with the queen? On, on Rasmuth? Like, well, is she, um, is like, legit. I already did the check. Just, yeah, Still. I yeah, but she can, she can do one as well. Oh, God, it's a net one. Uh, 26. Well, um, Alright. Are you lying about anything? No. Yeah, no. Well, I'm dodging. The, I'm like, trying okay, to dodge the question. Cool. This guy is yeah, cool. He's, he's not lying. Guys, he's telling yeah, the truth. Yeah, Diana. Diana will look at him and go, that's not the point. What do you want with the queen? Uh, I have. I want to give her a firm talking to. <laughs> so do we all. Uh, no, not, I, I know it sounds silly. Um, she she held my brother captive for a while, and I want to know why. You're going to see his well, pops well, then up I suggest behind. you talk quickly. Pops up behind then I suggest... Diana. And she's like, how do you feel about light treason? <laughs> treason? Uh-huh. Do my you, name is Diana Caputo. I'm the heir to the throne, and I'm currently on the way to the kingdom myself for a coup d'etat. Rasmus is going to have this blank stare on his face for a moment. You're not joking, are you? I'm not no, I'm you. not. Seeing as I we've traveled it. across the entire fucking ocean at this point to get here, and I just had to kill a dragon. Uh, let, let me let me confer with my sister here. You're going to see will also turn to Diana. She's like, nice job by the way, and just go for a high five. <laughs> <laughs> Diana's immediately going to brighten up. As she turns to Eurydice, she's like, it's the first time I've ever killed something and I got to kill a dragon! I know, I'm so <laughs> proud of you! <laughs> I look to Jacob. Demotion. We should probably take a lot of those teeth, by the way, to create... Saying? Demotion, I'm giving her a demotion. I, I need you to be there. But, um, <laughs> Rasmus is gonna <laughs> turn and look to Galar and, um... Talk to her, like... So, uh, apparently... She's the princess? Really? She, Are they uh, from what she's saying, and uh, Rasmus can turn around. You said you're the princess. 
Yeah, the ears itself is kind of a giveaway, seeing as only the royal line can be foxes. And Rasmus is going to look and is like, I'm sorry, I didn't even notice the ears. That's a first. She, well, uh, when, 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 you, when you live life at my height, you tend not to look up too much. I mean, that one does make sense. You, you, you yeah, look for the happens. eyes. You look for the eyes. You don't look for anything else. Rasmus can look back to Galar. It's the ultimate. So, my eyes are up here, buddy. It's, 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 it it's sounds. Oh, yeah. Yeah. B- believe me. Being eye, eye level with everybody else who's taller than me is fun. No, no. I, I completely understand having. And Galar, Galar, who stands at a stout 5 1, who heaves over Rasmus, loves to just rub it in his face. But, yeah. um. And but apparently, is, uh, is they're just doing delighted. a coup d'etat? Your good is internally just delighted. You can see her just, like, brimming, like, glee, because there's someone shorter than her now. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Alright, what did, what did you just say there, Azmuth, to Galar? I, I told Galar, uh, they're doing a coup d'etat, so, uh, maybe they could help really? us, we could help them. I still believe that we should talk to the Queen first. I don't believe we should just go in, oh, you know... Oh, trust me when I say trying to talk to her will do you no good. I believe I am a very good communicator. I believe I can talk to people. Her entire stick is manipulation and charm magic, so unless you have something that'll prevent oh, you from getting hit, then I suggest you learn how to talk fast, because the only thing she's going to be receiving once we get there is her head being removed from her shoulders. She has no neck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I see you feel like you, 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 you feel a certain way towards this. That, that, that might she saved me when I was six years old and caused my father's back. It's personal. If she's got no neck. She has no neck. It might explain some of Frodi's drawings that he made. <laughs> okay, now I want to see these drawings. I I left the book at home. Boo. <laughs> um, you tell you us have two you options. Share with the class. Stay out of my way or help me kill her. Okay. Okay. Um. Wow. Do you, do you st- I, I I understand that you feel strongly okay. about this. Uh, mm-hmm. there's per- there's apparently some history here. Uh. No shit. How, 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 however. Brother, can I talk to you in private for a moment? Uh, sure. Uh, excuse us for one moment, please. I'm, I hexed her, don't worry, you guys. I'm just gonna turn to the rest of the group going, So are we gonna, so we currently have her little band <laughs> of pre We have his, I guess, Hold sugar on. baby at the moment. And then... <laughs> So are we now also recruiting two dwarves? Uh, at the same time, you're going to see Zeroth poke his head out of the guts of the dragon. Can someone help me pull this out? It's on the right side. I'm not the person to help with that. Uh, I'm you know, Diana, you know, you know, after a hefty cure wounds on Orion. We'll be like, okay, I'll help. And she'll go over and help. So uh, uh, Jacob is actually going to tap uh, on... Uh, tap Diana's shoulders. Hold on one moment. And he's putting uh, his hand up to like keep her quiet so that he is now using both her vision and ears, yeah, ears. to try to listen in to their conversation. Right. Uh, they didn't move too far away. But you basically see a, a dwarven huddle mm-hmm. as uh, uh, Rasmith, Galar, and because they're just always there, Galar's entourage, uh, <laughs> kind of literally <laughs> get in like a, a huddle. Football huddle. And she says, and she says, Matricide? Really? Is that what we're gonna get involved in? Say again? She wants to kill her own mother? <laughs> I, I, I don't like it, but I mean, who are we to stand in the way? I mean, she had Frodi. Fair point. I, yes, I mean, I don't point. I don't believe that, 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 that she needs to die. I just believe that, you know, she needs to be aware of her actions. But from yeah, really, what she's saying, it doesn't sound like you can even talk to the lady. 
Hmm. Well. But at the same time, I, I still didn't have full intention of truly walking into this lady's door. I was hoping to just catch her out and about in the street or something. That's a plan. People don't know nobility. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at that dragon right now. I wonder if they'd be willing to spare with some material. I could think of a few good things I could make with that. His ears, while she's been listening, immediately perk up a little bit more. Because <laughs> now her interest is peaked. Oh, his phone died. Can't be mm -hmm. right yep. yep, so oh, we're going right. to take a, a five-minute break at, at per the request, so... Everyone, stay tuned. Yeah, you're ready to see if you got that. Yep, 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 yep. Which yep, yep, yep. like, I mean, she she's had an issue, but do you really need to kill her? And I is like, trust me, if you knew this woman the way I knew this woman, you would want her dead. <laughs> I mean, she has no neck from what you've done. That that she's really going to be removing her head from her shoulders. So where's the neck? So no neck. Ah, it's fine, I guys. It was just really funny. <laughs> I, was, I was like... Just soda from this distance? Onwards. I don't know. <laughs> I can. All right. So we are back. We're we're back. All right. Good deal. Okay. 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 So Sorry about that, on? folks. Had a uh, had a little technical difficulties there. Okay. Um. No, I was saying. I mean. Yeah. Obviously, her mom deserves a a, a good spanking for uh, you know what she did to Frody, but but uh. To kill her? Diane's really gonna raise her arm at this point and go, 
So, so I don't I don't mean to. I just have naturally really good hearing. But might might I interject for a moment? Rasmus will poke his head up. I. So let me put it this way for you. I was sold at the age of six to a group of slavers, ended up with a band of gypsies. She's tried to kill me on multiple occasions, and I'm her own flesh and blood. She's pretty much turned my entire kingdom into this weird dictatorship where she deserves all the power. She's a very vile woman, very evil, caused my father to die, and is ruining my entire kingdom. Rasmus on is going to look at you. Multiple I mean, blank of out there. Kidnapping, murder, and God knows what else. So Galar immediately pulls Rasmus' head back into the huddle <laughs> and says, Okay, she's got some fatter points there. <laughs> I, I, all, all, okay, so we're not the ones doing the killing. We're just... I just want to hit her at least Three. fucking once with uh, Rudy. Jacob will... I'll let you take the first you know what? help us. I like... Now Galar's head pops up. <laughs> Uh, Rasmus just grabs her head and brings it back down to the huddle. <laughs> so agreed. We let her do the, the killing, but we get the first hit. If you help yes. all the way. Agreed. Because I, I need uh, more help. Uh, Jacob will pipe up in Dwarvish and say to them, You can have second hit, I call first hit. Rasmus just looks at you and speaks in Dwarvish. Agreed. All right, good to know. Uh, you Fair. mentioned something about being then, able to work with she, the scales. And Galar kind of turns to to you, uh, uh, Razmith, in in dwarf. After she answers, I fair. That kind of whispers to you in in dwarfish. He's kind of scrawny. I don't think he can hit hard anyway. So I think we'll still be able to get our licks in, eh? Jacob will <laughs> then fire we'll a fireball fire. at one of the posse uh, members. <laughs> <laughs> well, b- b- well. as that passes by, Rasmus was about to declare, um, I'm not f- any better, actually. I can't actually hurt anyone with my punches. I do, I do like, right. one damage. I still, I like, that's all right. <laughs> I still love you, brother. <laughs> just and let then, me hit And just, just as, hit as, as they're having that conversation back and forth, <laughs> into one of the <laughs> random posse members. What just happened? Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. You just attacked one of them? I, I hit just... one of them with a firebolt because... Yeah, and Diana's whispered. immediately going to be like, I'm oh, no. sorry, he's currently no. using my eyesight, so his aim's a little off. And I... Uh, and uh... Galar, Galar, Galar... And this is a really low whisper, Jacob. If you're going to be able to I, hear it, right. you're going to have to roll He's using my it. ears. So I, know, gonna... I have to roll. Yep. I, I, yeah. can't, I, I won't be able to hear unless her perception check allows yeah. me to hear it. So, I need to roll perception? Yep. Yep. Okay, give me a second. I gotta get my dice back out, because I didn't think I'd have to roll anything again, so... <laughs> For fun, uh, 19 <laughs> plus 6. Okay. So, you hear Galar whisper... Can I close whisper... Tailspire? Yeah, you guys can close Tailspire. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, with my computer issues, I'm not gonna try to use it any more than it absolutely had to for the fight. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, you actually do hear Galar say in Dwarvish mm-hmm. uh, to uh, Rasmith. Thank God they got rid of one of them. How how long have we been trying to get rid of these hanger-ons? Uh, Jacob will actually just send a message to uh, Galar and just speak in Dwarvish of. You know, if you want to, I can technically get rid of all of them. I'm just going to need you to move away. No, no, that wouldn't be right. <laughs> well, Wait, what was she talking about? Rather Ra- 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 going to look at Galar and just... Well, seeming how, like, four of them are your childhood friends, I-, I would figure you'd be a little more worried. Well, not about Tessa, the one he hit. I mean, she's always been an annoying bitch. Oh, damn. <laughs> wow. Well, she she decides to defend you, so I mean, uh, really, I would put up. Uh, fine, fine. So, and so and she guys, runs. She runs over to the the one that got injured, and, and heals her. 
Just so use Diana's it. gonna you walk over to Rasmith now, and she's like, "So you mentioned something about wanting to work with the scales off the dragon." Uh, yes. If 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 uh, you wouldn't mind. What do you mean, work with? Uh, so, uh, I'm, I'm an art- I'm an artificer. I, I can create whatever you want. Really. And you hear him piped yeah. up from over her shoulder. I he's really good at it too. Diana's going to turn, look at the fully grown dragon right there, and then look back at the dwarf and go, Do you think you could make, like, lightweight dragon scale armor? Uh, yeah, if I can break up the scales, I, I need I need as much as we can get, though. She's going to look back at Jacob and go, Dragon scale armor? I... I mean, I don't need it. No, but I can help him take all the scales off. I mean, we could sell it. Use the hide, too. Those claws would be nice as well. I mean, we can always sell it for profits and such. Yeah, uh, but if he knows how to work with it and he'll do it for free for us. I could also make it look uh, like it's worth more as well. I going more so on the route of we get free armor and weapons as opposed to selling it and trying to buy something later on. I need diamonds. Okay, okay. So, so here's, here's the thing. I, 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 love, I love making things. I'll make all of you at least two things for free. After that, you do have to pay. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Oh, wait! Um, diamond hmm. on you. Uh, I we're, we're working on that. We'll get to it in a we'll, bit. We'll talk about that later. Um, Orion pipes up with the, his homemade elithid helmet that you can just wear and it, you know, fixes your brain. No? No? Okay. Just check it. <laughs> I, will, I, will, I will turn a point. How long have you been doing your craft? <laughs> I've, I've been doing my craft for, for some time now. That's not an answer. That's really not. <laughs> uh, <sighs> no, it's not. R- it's avoidance. Roughly, I roughly I have been doing my craft for about mm, going on two hundred and seventy years. Diana's immediately gonna look at Jacob, and Jacob again and go, "Really? And you want to sell it and not make use of the nice dwarf willing to make us free items?" Again, oh, and he I'm points really over to. He points over to Rogar. He needs diamonds, and I need more stuff so I can make another friend. That's why you guys have trade bars. Uh, I, I don't or, know. Or, that's but here, I, that we're all forgetting. I have a giant family vault of treasure waiting for me. And, and hearing hearing all the talk of money, uh, Galar now steps away from the recently healed Tessa. And walks, uh, kind of walks over and says, You're all bickering about money. But, I mean, you just killed a dragon. You should be happy with that. No, Besides, no, no, I've always no, heard no. stories. Dragons have gold and stuff somewhere, don't they? Aye, look for his hoard. Once again, once again, I don't fucking care. I need diamonds. Gold doesn't do shit. Gold buys well, diamonds. Well, maybe there are diamonds in there. Who knows? They're what, supposed what, to have lots of diamonds. Spare the dying. Spare the dying. Can Diana, the dying, so. try to pick up on the dragon scent to follow it back to its hoard? <laughs> it's in this bog. There are so Ooh, yeah. many confusing scents. I mean, the dragon basically smells like the bog. Uh, so that very very difficult I mean you can I'll give you a a perception roll high well the reason I ask like what would it be is if I could even make it you can always try and find out if you do or not Um, would it be would it be perception survival or investigation Perception to pick up its scent compared to all the other 
very similar and pungent scents that are throughout this box. If if Jake could still use her eyes, he will try to investigate. Hey, uh, okay. I'm just gonna uh, burn my second level spell to uh, locate object and, <laughs> and look for diamond. Can Can Rasmith also try to investigate? Sure. Uh, a diamond that's worth 300 gold. I'm looking for. An, I know what that diamond looks like. So a diamond Same. that's worth exactly 300 gold. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess I'll just look for a diamond. I I should be happy with what I get. Uh, Jacob got a 14. Okay. Wouldn't you be using my investigation? Nope, he's using his got, investigation. He's getting Rasmus the information from what you're seeing, and he's okay. investigating it with his mind. Like, oh, please don't fail me. Okay, Rasmus Rasmus got a 27. Okay. I got a 25? Okay. For the perception? You're not quite able to pick out the difference in scent. Rasmus, you do, however... Based on some of the stories that Galar has told you, uh, you know, which are, as far as you can tell, wild tales, you know, and, and things like that, as well as some stuff that was written in Frodi's uh, notes, uh, you know, about stuff that he studied and some of the, you know, other things that you've come across and stories that you've heard in taverns, looking around at the area and the dragon itself. You figure there's really only one place around here that it could come from. And it seems to be like there's got to be some kind of some kind of cave or something in this bog. Like, underneath it. Like oh, an underwater oh, cave. Oh! Oh! Um... Okay. Oh, good. Um, I do Resnick still have will a share this with the it. group, I suppose. Diana can, because of how the spell works, can she use? Can she use? Because it says, um, any place familiar to you that you've visited or seen before, or an obvious location. Could Diana use her clairvoyance and summon it at a cave entrance? Not necessarily, because you would need to, if it's an obvious location, <laughs> is what it's really saying is, like, oh, I'm pretty sure I see a cave entrance over there that would probably look like this. Because uh, one of the I examples don't think you've ever like seen or been dreams. into an underwound, yeah, but I don't think you've ever been in an underwater dragon's lair. Before. Okay. But we so have been in a lot that. of underground caverns. Can 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 Cole Possibly. like because we shape. that's where we found the dire wolf. That's where we found nightmare was inside the underground you cavern system. You were you weren't there. Right. You weren't there. Yeah, I was. Diana was there because Diana argued with Rhea about going near the fucking dire wolves. That was Dalian. No, that yeah. was Diana. That was Dalian. No, that Dalian, was Dalian had Dalian. disappeared before that. No, that was Dalian. No. No, that was Dalian. That was like one of the third or fourth. Yeah, yeah, it was like Nightmare was there when I was there. And yeah, yeah. Nightmare arrived before when... I was in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah we got Nightmare at like a pet store. No, we got Daydream at a pet store. We got Nightmare at a pet. We got Nightmare at the pet store along with the horses. No, we mm -hmm. didn't. Yes, we did. Yeah, actually, yeah, you did. I thought Raya stole one of the puppies. No. Nope. Nope. Oak was going to, but then he didn't want to. Yeah. Uh, uh, he didn't want to disturb puppies. Yep. Anyway, now Rogar. Yeah. You cast a locate object spell, looking yeah. for a diamond. Yeah, give me my diamond, or You are getting several pings. <laughs> all kind of at like a, metal a downward <laughs> angle from where you're sta from where you're standing. Hmm. This it seems to be out more towards the middle of this bog and and but below somewhere. I mean, it did come up from the bog, so the entrance is probably in the bog. Can yeah. without saying anything, can I just begin wild shape away. into like a crocodile and see if you can like go find thing underwater. 
if he can wild shape, he can yeah. absolutely do that. Because that's cold. What? He can... Yeah. Yeah, that is definitely a beast that is within the CR rating of what he could do. Yeah. So, you guys see Rogar walking out towards deeper, you know, po possibly deeper water. You also wait, uh, wait, have uh, noticed... What's a, what, what's a good, like, amphibious animal that can, like, go, like, underneath, like, dirt and stuff? Would it be, like, a turtle? A skipper? <laughs> a platypus? A catfish? <laughs> catfish. Catfish. Catfish is our game. <laughs> no, catfishes are so dumb. Don't do it. Catfish are... Well, no, uh, it's a wild shape. Doesn't he retain his intelligence? Yes, he retains his mental yeah. stat. He gains yeah, the as a, Yeah, wild, stat, uh, uh, wild shape is different from polymorph. Mm -hmm. But... So... Uh, crocodile is bigger, but what a, is a crocodile able to, like, burrow underneath, like, all the, the silt and stuff in that? Yeah, area? yes, actually. Speaking as somebody whose best friend's favorite animal is a crocodile, yes, they can. Crocodile it is. Wait a minute, Diana's... Diana's best friend is No, no, no. I'm big. talking like for, for Shelby Your favorite to animal know, is a crocodile? No, like for Shelby to know is a wolf. <laughs> Shelby's favorite animal is a whale shark. Wow, yeah. <laughs> My best friend Megan, shark, who's currently uh, above me at the moment, her favorite <laughs> animals are horses and crocodiles. Yes, but that's out of game knowledge. No, like I was telling Shelby. <laughs> yeah, because I was wondering. Was I was wondering. I and, because, yeah. and Cole would know. Yeah. Yeah, they crocodile is perfectly a, a probably a perfect choice for this environment, especially considering who knows if there are other crocodiles out there, and if there are, they're probably just gonna ignore another crocodile exactly. zipping around instead of like a catfish. Crocodile. So, yeah. It's gonna uh, lean over to Rasmith while they're all doing this. Go, I do still want that dragon armor that I can wear though. Uh, I'm gonna need to get measurements later. Uh, I cannot do that in this bog currently. No, that's understandable. <sighs> What'd you say? <laughs> Nothing. I have yes, he's also, got them written down. 34. 20. I may need to. <laughs> have them written down. Is there a way you can make it to where the waist of it is adjustable? Uh, explain. I'm pregnant. Oh, ah. Uh, I'm uh, sorry, that, that's going to be a little bit more uh, rigid, but I can see what I can do. Maybe if I can get some of that wing, I could probably create an elastic from it. If you're willing to make me a full set of dragon armor that I can properly wear, take oh. as much of okay. the dragon as you want. Okay, but Diana, here's the thing. If we do this and we... we... Do you know how awesome it would be to waltz up to my mother wearing dragon scale armor from a beast that's been in outside of our kingdom's no, reach no. for who knows I how long? I understand that. I understand that completely. But I'm just saying, hopefully, if the this baby goes more. our way, when it does, because I'm not saying if anymore, because it has to. <laughs> <laughs> um, like we we are spending the rest of your pregnancy. And however long we need to, at that castle, so you don't have to move. <laughs> oh, that was the plan. I would like to not give birth on the road. <laughs> cool. Glad we're on the same page. So, um... Plus, I have to get my coronation done, I have to get him fitted for his king stuff, and I still have to learn different things in regards to the policies I, and I, everything else. Diana, as much as I love these conversations above here, I kind of want to see what this Leia has in store, and I cannot see. Right! And she'll turn towards Jacob! <laughs> I'm sorry! I got you... distracted! Yes, would you like to please come with me to this area? I'm sorry! And she'll just kind of, like, walk over to Jacob like a scolded puppy. Alright. Now, so by good. this time, by this time, Zeroth, you have finally dissected the dragon enough uh, to remove the gallbladder. And okay. so now you, you now actually have this gallbladder from a huge creature. You're going to see his yeah. little help if you needed help. Yeah. 
Yes, I needed help with it. I needed somebody to hold onto it while I was getting the rest of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, um, I guess I'm gonna like be covered this, in blood. This and moment gut. where like oh, the yeah. almost gets sucked in. It's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. Oh, shut up! You're not the one covered in dragon blood. Guts. Actually, he and, would be and, covered and, in yeah, dragon yeah, blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. is just going yeah. to emerge out of the belly and just stare at you for a moment. <laughs> what were you just saying? <laughs> Because currently I am, I, I I look like I'm covered in blood. Never mind. Okay. You want a hug? <laughs> Give me sure, a hug. Why not? <laughs> oh, God. And then she will hug but... Zara, and then she's going to chase Orion around. <laughs> Just like, oh, come geez. on, Orion, give me a hug. No, 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 he's running. Zero's going to carry this gallbladder out. Um, he's going to walk over to the group of people, and now he's going to notice some, some dwarves standing there. He's just going to walk up slowly. He's not even going to say anything. He's just going to stare at them for a moment. So did you find it? Yeah, I, I've got it. It's right in my hands. D. So are you going to call Mask? Drip. Uh, yeah, um... Can, can someone hold this for a moment? No. Nope. I don't want to get dirty. I'm All already right. covered in enough dirt and grime as is. <sighs> Lee will just be like, um, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Lee. And he's just gonna slap one side of the gallbladder across his ear. <laughs> Trying to get it over his shoulder a bit. <laughs> he's, just he's gonna wash right. his hands in the water just a bit to clear his hands, and he's gonna oh, try and start hard. looking for the stone. Alright. So Gets the stone out. He's gonna, one. yep, gonna try and call Mask now. All right. Meanwhile, Eurydice is in the back, still chasing Orion. Uh, and uh, you hear? Um, oh, sorry, yes, Seraph. What is it? Hey, Mask. Um, does a dragon gallbladder count? A dragon? Um. Well, I suppose it could. How big of a dragon? Uh, fully grown adult. Fully Just grown point adult point dragon? dragon? Well, yes, that. That should be perfect. Um, awesome. Um, where, hold on. Where, where are you exactly? Uh, I'm in a Somewhere bog. Somewhere in the north. I'm in. I'm in the north. Uh, mm. I'm standing in Can... some, some soggy water. Mm. Hold on one second. And the other side goes silent for a little bit. Do 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 do. At this and point, then... Roger, uh, <laughs> sorry, not Roger. Uh, Zeroth's gonna lean over and try Just... to grab. Yeah, he I did, did it himself. Oh, I finally did it one gosh, time. We yeah. got him. Wait, what happened? But, um, <laughs> I'm gonna a grab bolster. the uh, Zeroth Rogard Rogar himself. Rogar. Good job, yeah, I did. buddy. Well, as as I said it, I looked at his screen. I'm like, why is it blue? Where did Rogar go? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm eating. So it kind of happened. Uh -huh. Gotcha, gotcha. But um, yeah, I'm gonna take the gallbladder back and put okay. it over my shoulder. All right, and then after. A you know, a little bit longer of silence. Uh, then you finally hear. Uh, sorry, I'm back. Um, just stay right where you are. Uh oh. Okay. She sang. Uh, I'll be there. Uh, she's she's very she, soon. She said, she said to stay where I am. She'll be here very soon. Bring the story. Uh, she, apparently I'm being yelled at. To bring the stories. You don't hear any response at this point. God damn it! Meanwhile, Eurydice, oh. while chasing Orion, trips and falls into the into the water. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, "Ah, oh, fuck! God damn it!" How do you um, think I feel? I have prime water in my tail. Do you know how hard and long it's gonna take to scrub this out? Hey, Diana, so, you want a hug? I will punch you in the nose so hard you won't have one anymore. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Diana, please. Um. As much as I know you're not going to like the idea, if it's underneath this place... Oh yeah, do I have to make any rolls for I'm going to need to go down there. I'll, we'll get to that in a second. Okay. We will figure out how to teleport to it. I mean, don't you have your ability where you can move down a certain amount? What? You're, you can move into a location that you can't see, correct? With dimension door, technically speaking. Okay. Let me go stand in the middle of this thing. Come with me. And he is going. Once we actually know how deep it is, because I, if I what? mess up on how deep it is, we're going to be stuck in the middle of the ground. Yes, I'm aware. That's why I'm walking. So over we will here. wait 
for the other person to come back to tell me how deep it is. Okay. And Jacob's so we going actually to land in a in open a cavern. <laughs> Jacob's going to stand there in a huff because he can easily calculate that stuff. No, no, no. The, the problem is he, Jacob, doesn't know how deep it is yet. She yes. needs the exact depth, and they don't have that yet. Why he was going to walk over there and start working on it. Yeah, but there's a crocodile. And while, going. That's, while, while all of that's happening, all of a sudden, Zeroth, about three feet away from you, poof, mask appears. Diana's immediately going to point at her. Her ears are going to go back, and she's like, I don't know about that! Witchcraft! <laughs> <laughs> oh, She's hey, just going to see Zeroth just drenched in blood. Hi. Oh my. Um, <laughs> I killed it! Hello, Mask. Uh, hello. Um, wow. Um, impressive. Uh, yes, um, can't have you traveling I, I, like that, can we? <laughs> um, she quickly makes some gestures and mm-hmm. press the digitation... You are now clean. <laughs> hey. What about me? I, I killed it. That. And she reaches into her uh, into her bag and pulls out it. It's not really a book. It's more a. It more looks like loose papers that were uh, kind of bound together in a folio of some kind. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, but it's it's bound up so that they are. You know, they're not going to fly everywhere or anything. She pulls it out, and she tosses it over towards you and says, I believe that is what you wanted. Uh, we're she, in a bottle. She'll, no, she'll catch it and make sure she doesn't get it dirty and put it in her bag of holding for now. And she'll look at Mask and go, but because I know what you're doing, can we at least say goodbye to him first? Of course. And Diana, now that he's clean and she's not as dirty, but she's going to go over and she's actually going to give Zeroth a really big hug. Zeroth will put the gallbladder off to the side so you don't have to have oh, it in no, your face. Oh, no, no, Lee is still holding that. No, I took it back from yeah, him. Yeah, he took it back. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I didn't hear that part. <laughs> yeah. When you find your brother and you get him back, you have to promise me that both of you will come to visit to see the castle. Yeah, definitely. Um, and she's going to point at Mask and go, and you, next time I see you when the both of them come up, you two better be married. She just kind of smiles a little bit. And it's a little bit hard to tell with her natural coloration, but you think you see a hint of blushing. She's like, because I married mine, and I'm pregnant now. So, I'm already up on you twofold. <laughs> is it, didn't is, realize this was a race. It's, it's not a competition, Diana. It's, you don't understand. Diana has made Mask her rival without Mask needing to be her rival. <laughs> no, I understand that. But it's just like, uh, she's just still just like, Diana, it's not a competition. It is to me. The first time I ever met her, she showed me up. So at this point, whether she likes it or not. (laughs) Well, she's getting a chuckle out of all this. Um, well, well, it it was was good traveling with all of you. Um, Like I said, you have to promise to visit. Do you go to see what go up to Zara and be like, once again, I'm really, really sorry for stealing that grenade from you. And she'll give him a hug. And she's still covered in stuff. <laughs> He'll hug her right back. And he's like, look, I, I don't understand what happened. But apparently you're not that way anymore. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry about it, Zeroth. So Zeroth will pull out of his pouch one grenade. Oh! Um, <laughs> wow. She'll hold okay. it. I will give this to Orion so he can make many, many more of these. Okay. Now, just don't set it off on a boat. <laughs> just don't. <laughs> no promises. I will try. Misfire one. So just don't. 
I won't, how about this? I won't purposely set it off to destroy the boat. Hmm. Is Rokar halfway across the fucking water by now? Yeah, yeah. But I just yeah. I'm waving. Oh, yeah. I'm walking away. Yeah, you, you've you've been you've been walking, and it's it does get deeper a little bit as you get out, um, but not so much. It's still really only about two feet deep, but it seems like you know you're getting a cup, you know, an inch or two deeper as you continue moving out. Mostly, it's like you're sinking more into the mud a little bit. Uh, like just just the layer of mud, but then you, as you continue out, you, I mean, you've got murky water all around you. Make a dexterity save, please. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. What, what about coal? What, what's coal doing? Slithering. We'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, oh, we're about to find oh, out what coal's doing. Uh, <laughs> he goes and joins dexterity them. save. Yes. Okay, so fifteen. Okay. Crocodile. You didn't see oh. because how murky the water is. No, it's the drop. The fact that there is this gigantic hole. Uh oh. <laughs> and as you step, you fall face forward into the water. And with your wonderfully uh, heavy armor that you're wearing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's... Oh, oh, shit. No. You begin to sink into a hole quite rapidly. I don't feel like this is appropriate music. Give me a second. Uh, um, at the same time, Cole, as a uh, crocodile, had just been kind of moving up that way, sees Rogar go down oh, and like begin sinking. And that is where we are going to end tonight. <laughs> hey, that's a person I know. <laughs> All right, so thank you everybody for watching tonight. I know uh, prob not quite as many uh, were watching tonight from what I could tell, but hey, I can understand. You know, tech end of things was, was off. We were late. I wasn't able to get any announcements out to anyone, so who knows if anyone, you know, saw that. So, But I hope... Uh, if you are here watching, you had fun, and I hope my players had a lot of fun tonight too. Mm -hmm. And we we will see you hopefully tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard for the Tailspire collab build. I should have my computer all fixed and ready to go for that. Uh, however, also a reminder: I didn't put this out in the announcements. Next week, Wednesday, I will not be able to stream because I will be out of town and unable to do so at. Uh, for my because of my day job so there is nothing planned for our normal wednesday night uh unless somebody else in the group has something that they're able I will and probably willing be to streaming do on wednesday okay so okay. i'll probably be streaming one of the uncharted games yeah, there you go you can go check out dragonfire 45's channel uh wednesday night so in lieu of our uh, normal game here on this channel go check hers out yeah all right. So I think that's it, everybody. So bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.